What is up, my home chickens? Joey Robbins here, and I am back playing Madden 21 on the PS4, continuing the Giants franchise on all Madden difficulty. We are on season 2023, week 9, about to face the Redskins. And good deal. Chat is up, and I see you guys are tuning in. Welcome. What's up, guys? Good morning. All right. We are, what's, we are three and five. Beat the Eagles. They weren't very good. They're two and six now. And let's go ahead and advance. Ace Young. Try to slow him down. He's pretty good. <clears throat> So they are four and three. They're having an okay season. Our training. See what these Redskins are all about. I can't call them football team. No way. Oops. Button. Go ahead and do our scouting. Hey, useless gamer. How you doing, buddy? Look at some old line. The center looks really good. Maybe pretty good. He, he doesn't look bad either. Okay. There's a couple of old linemen. Here's draft. Oh yeah, let's see what they look like. I don't think we've faced them yet. I, re I remember last year they had the number one pass defense. Sure did. Tough. No, I think I did face them. I can't remember if I beat them though. I think I might have. So yeah, they have a bunch of 90s. So they still have Haskins. 79. He hasn't been getting much better. Cause he's not that good <laughs> like Daniel Jones they don't have a running back they do have really good receivers though they have like they scout uh, they drafted him a couple of years back and I could have drafted him he's a beast once they get a QB man they could be a very dangerous passing offense those two receivers and they have a good tight end he's out right now they have a, at least a decent backup I have some injuries. He's out. That's a young tackle. Center there. Yeah, you can tell they're rebuilding the old line. Got some youngsters. They have some bad injuries on the offense. Chase Young is a 93. Beast. He's a beast, too. He's a beast as well. He's really good. They have a very good D line. The Foster, he's a jerk. <laughs> they have a good rookie middle linebacker. Yeah, their front seven's not bad. Corners are just okay. They moved Fuller, that's right, as a safety. He was a corner. They still have Collins. But yeah, they still don't have a bad defense on paper. Alright. Game started. happens hey the face who runs the place how you doing buddy good morning people are like texting me
You guys watch some football yesterday or baseball? I'm actually glad the Rays beat the Astros. Cheaters. 2-1. to one. Here we go. If we can beat them. Return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30 yard line. Out comes Washington here offensively, and their man under center, Dwayne Haskins, the number 15 pick out of Ohio State in 2019. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains. It was just wide open. I was excited about playing again. I saw two of my defenders. I don't know what they were doing. Zone in the same spot. That was not a good looking zone there. If Howard can get a sack. Or they can run. Good sheds. Go. Stop Tomlinson. This will be his last season with us. Brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten at the 49 yard line. Oh, nice. Play a game. Play a game. Offense. Oh, you were watching both? Deal? Yeah, me too. My Giants should have beat the Cowgirls, but. Here's a handoff out of the gun. I was really shocked with the 49ers. Man, they got like manhandled against the Dolphins. Freaking Dolphins. 49ers are a mess. Good defense. There you go. There you go. Oh no, Lawrence got hurt. That's not good. At least we have good backups with B.J. Hill and Lahoma Legay, so. Seattle's game was like jizz. <laughs> Funny. That, that game I actually missed. I ended up watching the Rays and the Cheaters. And the reason I do, he tends to stay at an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffling. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed. Take what the defense gives him. Right. And then he can strike Good job by the defense. Oh, Kirk Cousins. Can't wait for a QB, man. I don't have one. But we still have a running back. A Quam Barkley. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. New York. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. Three yards the game there, second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So I'm going to go ahead and give Penny a carry because uh, Barkley probably needs a breather. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself a best You give yourself your best chance. Penny's been slowly improving. Hines, he hasn't been able to run very well. So I'm kind of looking at his defense. I don't know if it's wise to run. Yeah, they were really all over it. I probably should have. Uh, Audible to a drag or something. Okay. That was a good Barkley a breather. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Play. I think we, I think we snuck for the first down. Nice Good job, Ingram. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. From the gun, here's Cousins. That ball complete to Isabella. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They go back to the ground now with I tripped, but good blocks. 
Saquon Barkley on the carry. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Keeping Barkley fresh. They keep it on the ground this time. Trying a different and approach. Run, run a lot more. So that would mean Penny has to do his part, you know. He's doing okay. Because we don't want to give Cousins too many attempts because it gets worse, it seems like. Those are true colors. From the 36, Cousins. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Okay. And they'll have it in the we're, red zone uh, before he crosses. We're nibbling on this defense. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Cousins. Oh, that could be scary. He almost he almost held on to it and Gallup, he's got hands. He almost caught it. Yeah, he almost held on to it. That was a ballsy attempt. No, that was tight. Working out of the gun, Cousins. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 of the 12. They get six. That'll leave them with Nice, we can get a touchdown here. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. To the air again, it's Cousins. Oh, that was a... That was actually intended for uh, Clayton. And that throw was way wide. Luckily, Isabella was there. Because that probably would have been picked. Definitely an incompletion. If Isabe Isabella just magically wasn't there. You see how bad that throw was? But yeah, you would think watching that was intended for him. But it wasn't. So, I got lucky there. That was luck. Good blocks. There you go. Touchdown, motherfucker. Thanks, Quan Barkley. Choo -choo. There you go. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. Nice. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt and then you go down and score. Good way to start the game. <clears throat> nice long drive. Because he's turned into his bench and he's telling his team. This is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told yeah, you guys, I would love to go like deep. In the gym, preparing for but the fight. Cousins just doesn't have that loose. kind of arm. And he returns this to the 22. One he takes over first down 10 at their own 22-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. We're, <laughs> we're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees yeah, spring house. I would think he'd be in front. Playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also is a much larger pair for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, Ooh, I get a perfect jump. Give me lucky. I didn't think he was going to do a fake handoff. Surprised <laughs> I didn't get to him. He got lucky. Yeah, right now you're right. They're in man to man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double team him somehow. I'm gonna have to make some. Now he's running. Me, rather than let him shred my defense. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Leighton Vanderesh on the tackle. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, Good blocks. Oh, nice hit. There you go, Peppers. They didn't fumble. Good hit. I got them moving. Now a handoff. Edwards down to the 30 after a gain of three. Edwards, the ball carrier. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up uh, and go and get uh, He was in. wide open. Come on, guys. Here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone. Make sure the quarterback saw it. I was able to make the short catch and put the down marker back to one. On first down, it's Haskins. And this is caught at the eight. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. The Washington passing game is going well. Now. It's a first down. And that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Here's Haskins out of the gun. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Didn't know which receiver to cover, you know? Or plant there. That sucks. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. At the end of the first. Hands fast into the receiver's hands even faster. These two teams all tied after one. Four tied seven to seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Returning it, John Ross. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And catch at their own 28-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Looking for a three and out. So that didn't happen. Ooh. You can't yell Great blocks. I'm getting some good they run blocks. Take care of their own business. A good sign. They establish themselves now that they're back on the field. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Gain of 11 on the play. Defenses always have a goal of holding a runner under 100 yards. Well, he went over 150. Oh, they're probably week. looking right NFC there, huh? Player of the week award honors. And guess what? He's going to have to do it again because of that vision. He yeah. Has. Dang it. I couldn't shake him. Maybe don't exist. And he went nowhere. Well, he went they were all over that. Back to the 33. Fuller. It's a loss of five. And it'll be a second and long. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second and 15 now. There's a giddy of Gallup. Man, it's Michael Gallup. Cousins pass. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. 14 yards. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Yeah, they're going to think I'm running, but they're in for a surprise. Ross could get wide open, maybe. Sure did. He sure did. One time that play was good. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 29-yard line. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game. Yo, man. Yeah, our, uh, our old line's doing a, good, a killer job. Another big play. That's why you work out the run blocks go. So you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. And the Giants oh, yeah, needs a breather. Now. Here's a first and ten. You know what? I hit the wrong... Fuck you! I hit the wrong button. I meant to go to O. Now, X was open too, though. But, like, I can't believe... Like, I threw way over his head. And it's intercepted. Whatever. 
I did that last time too. I hit the wrong button. <sighs> Whatever, dude. Yes, uh, Slayton was wide open. They weren't looking at him. Whatever. I hate my QB. Wait for one. Like Cousins can be good as long as I do baby plays with them because he's doing a good job with that. But and I'll tell you, if I ever want to really make a key throw, forget about it. Come on, guys. Can't let Haskins do this. I mean, he does have killer receivers. We need to somehow get more pressure. That's really what it is. There you go, like that. Ho, 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 motherfucker. It ain't Santa Claus with the la 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 love. There you go. I think that's his first. Safety, some people may not first on it's the season. Really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Now left side and completion to his tight end. Mm. Six. Got to stop him here. I'm gonna go four three. I go man coverage. My zone's been a little weird lately. Failed. Yeah, there's their big draft pick. Fifteen yards to pick up. First down, Washington. Edwards now on first and ten, and they'll get this one down to about the twenty-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, twelve yards that time, and a first down. It's a good place in the passing game on this drive. Here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now it's room to roam. From the red zone now, Haskins on first down. Checks this down to Edwards out of the backfield. What bad aim by Cousins. Yeah. Terrible. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run... I got lucky. Great coverage that time. There you go. Ho, 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 motherfucker. It ain't Santa Claus. It's Robert S -S -S Simmons. I'm going to run that same zone. Even long. The momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Oh, okay. You can have that. So you can have the short stuff. Alright. Held him to field goal range. Now he's going to hope the kicker misses. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there when they get three points. Take them. So wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful? Couldn't shake them. Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find one to get you into the end zone and get you six? Here comes Kirk Cousins now to lead his offense back out there. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. That was beautiful blocks. Too bad it had to be Penny and not Barkley. That would have been an easy touchdown if that was freaking Barkley, because Penny's not that fast. Woo! 
great blocks. Yeah, our run blocks are killer in this game so far. Nice. Well, they know they've got a good starter. Now the guy coming in to spell him shows he can run it pretty good as well. And I think he appreciates Joe Penny wearing people down, tiring them out a little bit. He took full advantage, didn't he? Came in with fresh legs and carried the ball. First down. Ah, well, that one fell apart. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Big run, Darkly. No gain on the play there. Second down. Uh -huh. Right at the line of scrimmage. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it was almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense. No gain. Well, fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. Okay. Four yards the game. Right, it will bring up a third down. Chase going in need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Hmm. Cousins. <sighs> nice throw. You know, Ingram tried. Good break tackle, but what a horrendous throw. That wasn't a smart decision because that defender was on it. Well, I'm just going to have to for a field goal. I mean, I guess you could say I was playing it too safe, but... In 10 games. He's my rookie kicker, Ryan Rice. He's getting some stats. Hey, Howard. Yeah, I sent you the invite, man. I guess you didn't get the message. Oh my, look at this. Did you see that camera view? God, this game is such a broken mess. <laughs> yeah, now, you remember what teams are available, right? I need to post a community thing. I was just busy watching football all day yesterday. Relaxing. To that type of a long drive, your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field. And play Dude, I cut hella crap from the Texans. It's gonna be a rough first season. Ha <laughs> Did you? It's funny. A Broncos. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the Broncos are good. Okay, so that means the Giants slash football team is available and the Lions. Alright, so I need to post that on my community thing. Get him. There you go! Another sack! There's our rookie, Brett Rowley. Woo! I should have called the timeout. Crap. Man, he's got way too much time in the pocket. Ah, oh, I can't really blame the defense, man. Can't blame the coverage. Great coverage forever. I should have called. I should have called timeout to change my play. Been known. I got too cocky. First and ten, it's Haskins. That wasn't smart. I was bringing too much pressure. You gotta really pick and choose when to send pressure, man. On all Madden. Which is makes sense. I'm gonna send it again here because they're inside the five. Okay, bad throw that time. Still gonna run that, so I'm sending six guys. I'm gonna see Vanderush back here, watching this the middle of this field. Ah, oh, dang it! So I was watching the other guy. That was bad defense there. That sucks. May just go to halftime here. At their own 25-yard line. 
don't know if I'll risk it. I don't want to risk a, a dumb interception or something. Maybe just flip some formation to keep him isolated where it's more of a one on one route and get the ball to him. I say just four verts, right? Hey, why not? Four verts. <laughs> one of the best routes in football. Hard to cover each guy all the way along the route. So far, just one catch for him. Now I should have. <laughs> Whatever. It's too late now. But. <laughs> maybe I could have gotten in field goal range, huh? Yeah, their run defense has not been good, the Redskins. That's the difference on the scoreboard. I'm being too conservative there. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Good return. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here, right at the 30 yard line. At their own 30 yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is oh, Isabella. things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Well, I'm sure you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just uh, I still don't know that they need to fix that bug. My kicker shouldn't be out there. <laughs> he tried to block. My kicker is going to get hurt. Just watch. He tried to block and he just got wrecked. <laughs> the heck, EA? Fix that bug. It should be Shepard. It shouldn't be freaking uh, a kicker. Ridiculous. They'll go to Barkley again. Saquon Barkley on the carry. There's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. On the play. And it's third down. They're going to bring pressure. Cousins from the gun on third. Got a man, Slayton. Got Slayton. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside. And very accurate. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. A first down throw for Cousins. That's complete to Slayton. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. At the 30-yard line. I'll give to Barkley out of the gun. And they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line. The Broncos have a good defense. Yeah, they have some really good defenders. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate, their offenses look kind of sucks. Change direction, that's often the end result. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Eluding the pressure right. I'm fucking pissed off at Ingram. Why would he run towards the defender? He was wide open. That's why I decided to throw it. He was wide open. And then he runs to the defender like a jackass. And that's why Cousins threw it that way. Oh, that pisses me off. Whatever. What the fuck ever. Haskins in the Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at the 20. What the F ever. Now after the turnover, here's Haskins. That one is slant to McLaurin. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Washington. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. Looking left side and it's complete. 
There's that that badass receiver. Killing in this one. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun they give to Edwards. And he's gonna be stopped at about the 37. They gotta be better than last year. Yeah. It's all about a QB sometimes. It really is, you know. Brings up second and three. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. We're definitely better than this team, you can tell. Um, they were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the first start, and it's second and eight. Can't be turning over the ball. That that first one though, I mean that was on me hitting the wrong button. That one I, I really blame Ingram. I don't know what he, why would you run to the defender? You're wide open on the right side. Dumb bastard. Drop it. Yes. Got our hand in there. Alright, what are they gonna do? They're gonna punt. Okay. Maybe a really deep field goal. I don't think their kicker is that good. I'm talking about your online franchise. Well, you only have so much control when you sim. You know what I mean? At least we play each other now, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, you say that. On paper, I actually had the best team out of us four. So, it's not my fault the game told me to go F myself. Oh, one of their guys is out. And he's gonna get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. I'll try to play action different. From the 27 now. Here's second and three. Clayton, just go deep. Although I don't see you getting open. Off the play fake. Cousins. Yeah. Oh, I think that was pass interference. That's just a break. That wasn't a smart play by me. Yeah, by bad defense by uh well, I mean, that's their end. I mean, that's freaking their guy, but using coverage. Can't really fault him for that. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes they're too safe. I just got wrecked. <laughs> got freaking wrecked. Take the blitz, huh? I'm still gonna run. That right side looks looks light, like that little juke. Thought he was gonna kill me again. How many games are we playing per season? Um, it depends. Probably two to four. But we're only playing users, so it depends on your schedule. Like for me, I think I'm only playing two or three games. Oh, did you? Yeah, I bet he was big money. He's a really good player. Tell you what, though, 49ers defense, though. Oh man, that was a joke yesterday. This is where every back in the league 
I started them on my fantasy team. They gave me negative four points. Come on, 49ers. You got pwned by the Dolphins. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> From the red zone now, Cousins. Uh, yeah, I threw it away. I didn't really see anything open. Had great protection. That was that was close, boy. That was ballsy. That was a ballsy throw. I will say, I feel like the Redskins' front seven hasn't looked that sharp at all. Uh, I think their secondary's been fine with their coverage. Having got to uh, challenge it, I don't know. Cousins' arms are not that good. Yeah, I would love to challenge it, but not with Cousins. The secondary is pretty legit, though. Oh my god, is um one of my receivers going to be wide open? Who is it going to be? I'll go with that. There you go. Touchdown, motherfucker! Darius Slayton! I, I want him to throw high, too. Just trust uh, his hands and good catch. The catch. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you got out wide and who you're gonna throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make game. a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor. I, I know they have a bunch of injuries, but still the Dolphins. I Means the Dolphins. You know what I mean? But Jimmy G didn't help. I mean, I will say he. he I mean, it didn't matter, though. Like, the defense was getting owned the second the game started. I mean, this Magic, like, scored super easily at the start of the game. <laughs> but you, I mean, you are right. There's a crap load of injuries, but... They should still be good enough to not let the Dolphins do what they did. <laughs> They're set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Going for the deep ball. Oh, this is get to him in time. It's complete. Right here, have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a game of 34. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. Antonio Gibson, the intended target. I agree. Jimmy G is pure trash. Yeah, I mean, he didn't help the situation, but... It didn't really matter, like, because, yeah, your defense. He lets this one fly oh, good cat. Did he drop it? Boy, he really jumped for that. I got lucky with that. Um, I guess I'll go zone. I don't know, man. Haskins actually trying to air it out. Come on, guys. Because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. They should have done man so coverage. Ah. To give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. Five-yard line. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. Offense. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. From the gun, they go I will say, though, Daniel Jones is pure trash, too. One yard back there to Giants should have beat the 14. Cowboys yesterday. Like, Giants, like even if they the won, though, like, they scrimmage. still suck. They're only going to win, like, two or three games if they're lucky, game. but they should have won that game. Probably Tells you how pathetic now. the Cowboys are. 
this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League. On but Judge has to go. There was a lot of bad play calling, and it seems like between Daniel Jones and the receivers, there was no communication. Um, the Giants really beat themselves in that game. They easily could have won that game. Washington on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. From the gun, it's Haskins. And it's caught inside the five. Can't give them that kind of separation, guys. You gotta seal that up. That Scott wide open again. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run here with Edwards. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. I'll give Haskins credit, though. He's definitely trying to find his receivers. He's, he's chunking them. My pass defense hasn't really been that great this year. Oh, that was bad. And I was, I was bringing house, and look at it. That was ugly. <laughs> Terrible. And Washington has taken the lead. Washington's kind of the opposite from last year. Like last year, they had a great defense. Their defense seems okay. Like they're minimizing the damage. But not near as good as last year. But their offense is a lot better. Which makes sense. And they got great receivers. Better than mine, hypothetically. They got two studs. Whoa, lag. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line. Charles, this one not only oh, I didn't mean to do that. Set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points. Said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. And what, what are you seeing here? Well, that, that number is still in play. So, we said, okay, you know what's a slap in the face, though? About the fantasy team? My other defense was the Ravens, and I was going to start them, but the reason why I didn't because I had Joe Mixon. And since uh, the rookie QB for the Bengals, he's actually looking pretty good. He's doing what he can, right? Mixon, I mean, besides the one game, he hasn't really done much, but he's, he's really a good running back. It's just their old line. But uh, I was like, you know what? They, they may score some points against the Ravens. But it was more wishful thinking. I, I should have just... Pick the Ravens defense because they they had 25 points. From the shotgun, it's that that could have been picked. That was a bad throw. Good coverage though. I wanted to lob it. Hope they don't bump into each other. Uh, okay, you know what I don't like about that? Ah, whatever. I was hoping Gallup would have blocked or pushed him out of the way. That was also, that was actually a really shitty throw. I mean, Barkley shouldn't have had to jump for it like that. Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt. Can't wait till off season. Really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. I can get me a QB. Here's Haskins out of no the gun. QB gets old. He's got Burton here. And he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. A gain of six there and first. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last Still need a better secondary, too. There you go. There's another sack. Ho, 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 motherfucker. It ain't Santa Claus. It's Howard R -R -R Robinson. There you go. It was on. Third and 12. Let's stop him here, boys. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. No. Yes, he dropped it. 
Yeah, my coverage has been bad. But my, my secondary is not that good. Luckily, he dropped it. That was one of their star receivers. He, that would have been completed. Hey, Garden. What's up, buddy? Uh, I can't outrun him. <laughs> we going sim style soon? <laughs> yeah, right. I lose this game. What do you guys think? Should I? I'm three and five right now. I'll be three and six if I lose this game. That's not very good. I'm happy on the, the results so far. Oh, wide open. Redskins took a gamble there. I kind of lucky that's all that happened. I haven't found Gallup a lot in this game. No! Lucky. God dang it. Fuck you, Cousins. I wanted you to lob it, fucking asshole. That was really close. But you see, that was supposed to be a bullet. You see how weak that bullet was? That's why the defender almost got it. Cousins throws like a woman, man. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Block him. Here's a give to Barkley. There you go. Sometimes I get annoyed with Will Hernandez. Like, you better block him. Don't you be lazy, because that's going to be a big run if you do. He did. Yeah. I didn't like that play. He's Barkley is wide open. He gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 13-yard line. New York. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. I got lucky Penny just got wrecked. <laughs> Freaking Foster. Or Foster. Do it. a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. I deserve to lose. That was a bat. That was that was on me. Bad read. Uh, three picks, man. Yeah, right to Foster. That's a normal situation too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field, sometimes there's always going to be a traffic jam. It feels like towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball is tipped, or just too many bodies in the area. An interception can result. Edwards, the ball carry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. But after the pickup of five, here's second and five. Operating from the gun. Haskins. This one into the hands of the looking use a turnover. That'd be nice. Look at Haskins, boy. He's definitely airing it. Wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Yep. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back, Joey, what is your favorite MLB and NFL teams? Hey, uh, three gamers, Yankees and Giants. That's my home team. Work on that clock. See if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. You have to use timeouts. What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Two yards, good enough for first. Make it like this drive a little bit better here, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember last drive, they went three and out. 
So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure he stopped the clock there. Because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield, and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did. Well, there you go. We're getting sacks in this game. Ho, 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 motherfucker. It ain't Santa Claus. It's Dexter L -L -L Lawrence. Nice five sacks for us. The defense is, you know. Our defense is doing what they can. Offense is really what's blowing it. AKA Kirk, AKA Cousins. I got pancakes. No! Oh! Yes, he dropped it. Damn coverage back there. Alright. Alright, they, they have to punt. That was luck. That throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. The Giants take over first and ten. All right, this is definitely going to be it right here. Two and a half minutes. Low scoring game. Thirty seconds to play. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two minute warning. Oh boy, did the Redskins make a mistake? Can Gallup be fast enough to go all the way? Yes, he can. That's what we needed. Touchdown, motherfucker. Giddy up, Gallup. There you go. There you go. Redskins made a mistake. The kicker on one play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something Need to start your drive and get it up to a nice start. I game now. For the whole thing. Right. And got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Nothing all separating right. these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense. Give me a warning. But they have to do it. Comes down to this. Yeah, sim if you lose. Yeah. Let's go to offseason, try to get a QB. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Did he get the first down? He close. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you got it! Baker! Flex. Or signature, whatever. Baker just closed his eyes. I controlled him, too, because I was like, I'm going to see if I can jump for it, and I tippied. Caught it with my fingers. Wow, Baker. There you go. There you go. They have a chance to win this game now. The Giants offense at nice. the line ready to begin their next drive. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. Here's Cousins. Hold on to it. Finds his tight end Ingram. And this time he's able to take it We're down good. to the 42. Nine yards We're good. Up there and it's a first down. First down. We'll probably just go for the field goal. Dang it. I wanted to cut inside. Oh, you shut your mouth. Barkley's hurt. Oh, no. Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. Cousins. 
Nice throw. He's Ingram. I mean, Ingram was wide open. Train tricep. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock. I'm watching the clock. I know. So they just let Ingram do whatever. Bad defense there. I'm gonna call a timeout now. Did they call one as well? No, they didn't. Okay. Um, so I have one more timeout. Let's try to get a little closer. That'll do it. That'll do it. Then we'll call a timeout. Right as a three second. There you go. Kick it for the win. Kick it for the win. So this is certainly a tough test here in the early career. Bastards. <laughs> Waiting for him to do that. There you go. Ryan, if you're watching, here you go. Kick it for the W, baby. So this is certainly a tough test here in the early career of the rookie kicker. And his kick here is good. And we win. There we go. It's just... Sorry, Tomlin. Lose. It ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it. And victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. Grab ass, be gay. That's so right, man. Giants, it's an important for Cousins. Season hopes is they at least get back to four and five. And they'll be able to enjoy this. He gets a spanking. The before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Washington, they drop back to 500 now at four up and four down. And they'll look to get there back some yards in this one. Next week as they head to Philly to face off. Wow. See, I had a quiet 518 yards. So See, the Redskins defense not near Alongside as good as last Davis, year. I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks so they've been good at minimizing we'll the damage. Had about the same amount of throw. We were both 75%. Difference is three picks. Ever. Yeah, Penny ran really well. He had that big run. How, how deep was that run? 44? Yeah. Yeah, there's their big draft pick stud. Seven catches, 115 yards. Kept him quiet. Considering. Yeah, Gallup had that really deep one. Had the sacks. Collins had two of those picks. Baker. Yeah, I only punted once. They punted four. I, mean, I definitely outplayed them. Cousins being cousins. Beating our division, except for the Cowboys. They're uh, they're too good. There you go, 1,000 XP for entire offensive line. Definitely needed that. Advance. I know I have upgrades. I'm going to advance because I know it freezes some. By week here. Uh, yeah, rest and relax. 
I want to keep the team happy. Helps the injury. And hopefully, um, Barkley's back. This bye week was, was really perfect timing. We'll get some time in here. He looks pretty good. And I know I have some XP to spend on my coach, but I'm I'm waiting. Go ahead and advance. The Bills. Hey, Robert. What's up, buddy? Slow him down. <clears throat> Buffalo. Look at corners yet. He looks really good. Not too many of them, huh? Darn. How do you feel about the Giants game yesterday? Yeah, you know what? To be like really honest, I don't think the Giants looked that bad. They they should have won that game. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I I do blame Joe Judge, and this is I I it has to be his fault because my opinion, my point of view, watching Daniel Jones constantly running out of the pocket, and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you can execute and be efficient. And I also understand because the old line is not very good protecting the QB. But if you notice between him and the receivers, they're not on the same page. It's almost like they they play blind with no game plan. It's almost like the receivers, hey, just run out there, try to get open. There was multiple times the receivers were kind of bumping into each other. And you're like, something's wrong. You know what I mean? There's some poor play calling going on because... We actually have a pretty good receiving core. Um, and then when you watch Daniel Jones run out of the pocket, it's almost like he closes his eyes, too worried about getting away from pressure, and then he's like, oh, um, I didn't think about like who to throw to. You know what I mean? That, that's, how, that's how I felt. Like, So I don't know. I think it is a combination between, I think Daniel Jones isn't good, because I, I watch his throws. I just don't think he's that good. He can't secure the ball. He fumbles like an idiot. I don't know. He doesn't get any passing touchdowns. We should. He should have had a really good game. He had just an okay game against the legendary worst defense ever, you know? It was bad. And, you know, the Cowboys' defense is so bad. Even when we did that fake field goal, or was it a fake field goal or a fake punt? I think it was a fake punt. We faked it. Ingram was on the right side. They paid zero attention to him. And if it wasn't for number 75, that would have been an easy touchdown. <laughs> and that sums up how pathetic the Cowboys' defense is. And then the touchdown to uh, Slayton, that was beautiful. Bad defense again. But guess what? Um, that one wide receiver with the interference, you know, because it looked like they don't know what route they're. I don't know. Like, I I just think Joe Judge has to be fired. He clearly does not know what he's doing. And Daniel Jones, I don't think he's it. If it was Eli Manning, we would have won that game. Or 
if we had a coach like Tom Coughlin still with this team, we would have totally won that game. In fact, I think we would have easily won against the Cowboys. We might have even beaten the Bears. That's debatable because I feel like the Bears defense doesn't get enough credit. There's a reason why they're, what, 4-1. and one. They're a pretty good team. Judge was pissed after that fly. I know he was, but I feel like it, I, I think it's his fault. I don't know. You'll wonder who who's the one with the terrible play calling. Because sometimes the QB has the authority to make the calls, right? To make the plays. So it's like, who's really more at fault? Is it Daniel Jones or Joe Judge? Who's the bigger idiot? Now, the reason why I'm not mentioning Jason Garrett. I actually think he's helping the team. And here's my opinion why. I've noticed even though we're 0-5, the Giants are actually in very good playing spirit, you know? They're they're being positive. Their defense are it's showing life because their morale is good. Even though, yeah, they're they're losing. Um, but I think, you know, our defense, yeah, they gave up a lot of points. Cowboys have a pretty powerful offense. We'll give it to them, you know. So, you know, definitely knew we were going to give up points. But the Giants' defense made some plays, especially early. And, um, I mean, I can't, I, you can't fault the defense. But I think uh, a guy like Jason Garrett, I, you know, because he, he's like a player guy, you know. I think he, he does a good job keeping players happy. So I, I like to think he's putting the team in good spirits. I could be wrong with that, but I think he's he's helping the team by staying positive, which is helping them play better than what they are. If that makes any sense. But yeah, I think Daniel Jones, Judge, get the hell off the team. Um, it's like Dumb and Dumber. Which one's the Dumber? Who's Dumber? <laughs> you know, it's I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the O line sucks, but Eli Manning was able to make it happen. With the no line like that, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, whatever. We're gonna be a top draft pick again. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Am I completely wrong? I don't know. Oh, don't tell me you did it again. See, this is so broken. I just want to up upgrade my players. Even if I try to just do the auto. This shouldn't be... I mean, it froze again. This game is so broken, dude. Alright, well, I'm going to take a coffee break while I have to reload this game. So I'll be right back, guys. I mean, this is why. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Alright, sorry about that guys, I'm back. Sorry for the long break there. Brewing some more coffee and, you know. Took me a few loads. It finally didn't freeze, so here we are. The player upgrade. <laughs> it's just pathetic. Alright, well anyways, here we go. Hey, Ryan Rice, if you are watching, you are at 71 now. Cool. Evan Ingram, 94. Nice. Not even a superstar, just a star. Got some good upgrades here. They call me Peppers. They're my boy Robert. Uh, I'm thinking about going past coverage. I'm going to. Uh, still an 83, but that's okay. Only one attribute. At least it was plus four, but come on. What's your zone coverage now? Robert, were you always a superstar? That I can't remember, but... I wish it would just tell you. It tells you when they get like a new ability slot or an X Factor, but they don't tell you about when it changes like that. Uh... So, hold on. Oh yeah, your zone coverage still only a 65 after that. That's okay though, it's getting better. I'm trying to get your pass coverage, because I love using my linebackers and they're so fast. You actually have pretty good hands for a linebacker. I think it, it was 67. Separate, I don't care too much. There's Thomas, slowly getting better. He's an 82 now. There's my draft pick, Brett. 75. Ooh, speed. Nice. Your hidden's almost revealed. And, oh, looks like Barkley is finally going to be a 99. Here you go. Boom. Acceleration. Cool. What, what's his total speed? 94 speed, 94 acceleration. Agility. I thought agility was maxed. 97. Okay. Beast. Then these guys we can auto. Shepard won't be on our team next year. I'm not even using him. I accept that invite, by the way. Oh, I saw Angel. You are the, the Bingles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so we are both four and five. Let's see what the bills look like. Billy Willies. Looks like they have a pretty good team. Josh Allen. Now next year's mad, and he'll be a lot better than an eighty-three because he's killing it in real life. But an eighty-three on here. Uh, they have him. He's an 84. Yep, still a digs. He's a 99. They drafted this guy a few years ago. Draft pick. Superstar. And they picked up Boykin. I, I almost thought about getting him. Yeah. They got a pretty good young receiving core, if you think about it. Not bad. And Knox, you know, he's not bad because he's really fast for a tight end. One of the fastest. Reed's a good backup. Wow, and that's a very good rookie. They're pretty loaded on options. How's their old line? He's okay. He's just okay. He's okay. He's just old. Yeah, their old line's not bad. That's a good one, though. That's a good draft pick. 23 years old. D line's young, but okay. He definitely helps. I would think their linebackers would be pretty good. So yeah, he's pretty good. 88. They drafted him a year ago, and they drafted him this year. Bills looks like they've done well with their draft picks. They're uh they got a lot of good young talent, actually. Yeah. They could be good for a while. 
they continue to play their cards right. But yeah, not a bad front seven at all. Really good corners. Oh, hide. Good safety is just old. Got a good young punter. Rookie punter. <laughs> they don't have their fourth round pick. All right, let's see who wins this one. <clears throat> this will be a tough game. I bet their defense will give me problems. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, so we need two more people. So, for those of you tuning in and missed the last stream, because I didn't post anything on the community thing, uh, we have two s spots remaining for an eight-user online franchise. One user in each division, uh, the worst team. Today, so the teams that are available is the Lions and Redskins or Giants, because they both suck. So you could pick whichever. So those are the spots. I would, but I play on Xbox. Oh, no, that's fine. I understand. Yeah, as far as the rules, we're only playing against each other. So, I'm assuming on average we're probably playing anywhere between two to four games per season. Yeah, it just depends on your schedule. And, um, yeah, against the CPU, we're simming those, not playing, so it, we can really speed it up. And if you make playoffs, you can play that, play all the way through. It's on all Madden difficulty. I think I put it on 10-minute quarters. Uh, no trades. Table that. On the ground, this is He'll get about three here as, he's out to the third. as far as free agency goes, uh, it's fair game. You can sign whoever. That's a free agent. You gotta find a way to hold him under twenty, because to me, that's the magic number. Twenty points score gives yourself you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Brings up third and two. I trust the old line here. Oh yeah, good job, good job. <laughs> Bring in Penny. Give Barkley a breather. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, she said, had a chance to get on the field and didn't get it done. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48 yard line. Tackle made at his 48 yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. On second down, here's I was hoping uh, he would block him and he didn't. Yeah, that sucks. <clears throat> He has elite instincts in his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile. He stopped that one behind the line of scrimmage. Huh. There you go. Good route running by Ingram. That could have been a monster play if, uh, what's his face, just took, took out 27, you know. Removed him. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I'll take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed, it makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now, take your shot at the end zone, and it'll be down a distance count. Yeah. 
first down. Here's Cousins. Got a man open. It's Ross. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The same exact result as last play. A pickup of 11. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game the play before. Hmm. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field okay. and accumulate. Or we're moving. Up in the drive. Eight yards on the first half completion. Bring ball on the eight, second and two. At the Bills eight yard line. They go back to the ground. Yeah. Good job by number 56. Oh, come balls. Yeah, he, he's been a good draft pick of center. First and goal. <clears throat> you were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a there you go. Great blocks. Touchdown, motherfucker. Saquon Barkley. There you go. Great opening drive. Touchdown of the season. And the Giants take it right down and score on the opening drive. Hey Franklin, what's up, buddy? What's my record? Uh, me and the Bills, we are both four and five. So, if we can get back with a winning, re oh, that's screwed up. Back with a winning record. A short kick taken at the 18. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Bills take over at first and ten. The Buffalo offense coming out. what old Allen Josh looks like. Allen, who is at the hell. He's having an okay a year. Performance last week Bunch of yards. Three touchdown passes. <laughs> I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. He's going to be start, holding probably. His agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. Oh, it's on me. I, I didn't see that. Apparently, got a late hit. Come on, Nick. Playing dirty. <laughs> Playing dirty. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. On the handoff, it's Geist. It's getting four down to the 36. Here he is, Geist, the ball carrier. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal is get a couple of first downs. Run some That's plays, ball run start. some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. So that'll back them up fine. Okay. And that false start build is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. This one complains to Jordan Reed. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Jordan Reed. Give him six on the play. And that'll make it third down. And it's third down. You know, I decided not to blitz with uh, Love. Allen from the gun on third down. Good defense. There you go. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage. Yeah, deep field wall. Miss it. Here's Acker. I was hoping he didn't have enough leg. It's like he just got it, too. He's running out of power there. Oh yeah, this does used to be that a 50 plus yarder was caused for some probably could have made a 54 55. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game when you look at the background of these back kickers? This. It's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive <clears throat> backs, all state wrestlers, right? Baseball players, provided athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next oh, drive. I see there. And the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm a brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. First play the drive going for 14 and a first down. So, from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. I know, he's easy. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. That's complete to Slayton. 
Smith. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Out of the shotgun, they run with We're ready for that. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Ball carrier. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. Nope, they were watching Slayton. There you go. Ingram got open. Got Ingram. All right. That, I'm doing like a, a, a different approach with the offense. Since I can't really be too aggressive with Cousins. His arm is too wussy for that. He's doing the little stuff. So far, these uh, first two games working out. Now the Seahawks, there was no chance. Their defense is too good. So far, Bill's defense uh, not dominating me right now. At the 33 yard line. Get open, Ingram. Ah, that's a, that's a forward pass. Yeah, Ingram needed time. Trying to look downfield, he's standing in the pocket. I just couldn't find anyone open. Good. Now, not enough time. Well, yeah, they're not really uh, guarding Ingram overall. He's been getting open a bunch, I've noticed. Didn't even look at him. That was easy. Thirteen yards, good for a giant first down. First down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. If points result, we'll call this play significant. The first down carry for Barkley, and just a couple yards there down to the 17. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. From the 17. Like I need a time, and it's gonna be a touchdown, Isabella. It's Isabella. And do it, Isabella. I'm just being a dick. Are we allowed to sign? Uh, players off the practice squad. Yeah, you can do that. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well. Yeah, we're just not doing any trades because trades you can easily manipulate the system and make your team really good. It's, it's really cheating, you know. I, I wish the game was super smart, but it's really not. That's why I, I, uh, I'm just so against trades, you know. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately just kind of ruins the off, the off season experience, you know, because it just makes the draft and free agency that much more important, you know. Now, free agency is legit because even if you're winning the bid, you may still not get the player due to whatever reason, you know. If the player don't want to be on your team due to, like, your location, your coach, your team's performance, you know. So, they, they did do a much better job with that. Well, that I'm happy with, but the trades, uh, it's still broken. I've seen videos of it being like so broken, you can easily manipulate it. So, yeah, I, I just, I don't know, I hate it. It's really an insult to the sport, in my opinion. At least for me as a franchise guy. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a oh, oh, yeah, we're really owning the Bills. First down bill. I mean, things can change. They can always make adjustments, but uh, so far, not. Been all us. A 14 to three ball game for Giants 14, Bills 3. Oh, really? You know, I, and that's another thing. That's why I'm doing a lot of short plays. Like, you just got to... Like, I get it. Sometimes we want to give players stats, you know, and 
But you just can't do that. You gotta keep it real. You know, you just gotta go to whoever's open. You know? And then you just gotta know your player. Like Cousins, I, I can't go deep with him. Definitely gonna be a pick or an incompletion. Something bad's gonna happen. He, you know, he, he underthrows it a lot because he doesn't have the arm. So I gotta do these little weenie plays. Now I'm really screwed if I face a defense like I did against the Seahawks. Oh, then I'm just in trouble. They're gonna freaking uh, stuff me, and they did. That was a struggle, but it made sense, you know. Oh, I'll start. Or delay game, excuse me. Delay game, offense. That's gonna set him back five yards. So the hey, Matt, how you doing, buddy? But yeah, let me know if any of you guys are interested. Uh, two more spots are open for that online franchise. So far, there's six of us. Just two more people. And the teams that are available is the Lions. And you have an option between the football team and the Giants. Because they, they both equally suck. So, whichever is fine. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, Hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there... Nice first down. Ooh, dirty fingers tried to get it. <laughs> if dirty fingers was a little better, he probably would have picked that off. Like a, an elite cornerback would have picked that off. Because that was a bait throw right there. Oh, there you go. There's old Howard. What a shed. I think our defense will be really elite once we uh, fix our secondary. Our secondary still a lot of issues. I mean, it's bad when I do have to rely on my linebackers to like be in zones and just pass coverage because my secondary is like literally garbage. And that's not good because it's bad matchups, you know. But I feel like I have better chances on defense having my linebackers out there. <laughs> Yeah, it just sucks. That's the weakness of my defense right now. I feel like the D line has been okay this year, though. Well, that sucks. Did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one yard line. Amazing, perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard. The starting point is the twenty. So there is a reason that. Oh, you're in school. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know when we'll start the online franchise. Like I said, we need two more people. So. I need to post something so people know. Are you getting a haircut? Oh, today. Nice. I'm thinking about cutting my hair you know the pressure is going to be tough defensively the last run got a couple here second and eight I'm a little nervous to try slant here hold on to it Gallup can hold on to it he's got great hands yeah so far I love Gallup he's got great hands he showed that against the Giants in real life those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Oh, apparently he's third in receptions. Nice. I believe it. I don't, like, always look for Gallup. It's just, you know, he does get open a lot. Like any good receiver would. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means so far, I've actually been a little disappointed in Slayton and trying to get him to blow up, but I haven't really really seen him get open a lot. I know Barkley. I'm going to try this cross drag. It worked against the Redskins. Actually, Barkley's okay. He's not tired yet. I don't think I'm going to run. They're, they're definitely anticipating that, which is good. This drag could really work. On third and one, here's Cousins. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up. I can't believe he caught that. I was like, Ross will not catch that. I was actually amazed that they were on it. I thought they were both going to be wide open. That's a big catch. 
Frost and Ingram, or one of them at least. Wow, good one-handed catch. I got lucky with that. Frost not known for hands, but made a spectacular catch. Crap. I should have just went to Ingram. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, that they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback, and you know what a free runner turns into? A free hitter. Super accurate, though, but we're doing, like, little baby plays. I'm going to have to go a little deeper here, though. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. Also being cautious about challenging their secondary. They have a really good secondary. From the gun, here's Cousins. I'm getting short. <clears throat> Inches. I almost want to go for it, but let's not give the Bills an opportunity. Because I've learned my lesson on that on all Madden. You don't want to get reckless and stupid thing. And oh, I got inches, and then you get totally stuffed. Damn, motherfucker! Good hit. Well, he felt that. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and ten. There's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. And the drive begins with a run by Geis. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Taken down. Well, on every play call, you realize he's not going to go for a pressure. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish oh, nice. inside run. That's 69 again. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it. You could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. So. I'm gonna still run this play. And uh, extra pressure. Nice. Looks like he got scared too. Defense looking great in this game. Don't let him get the first down. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Those offense not doing much. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make oh, that's gonna be on me. I already know it. Here's go out of bounds. Don't take a hit. I love the I already know it's on us. All the defenders pointing out the receiver where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short. Uh, peppers. <clears throat> So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten at their 36-yard line. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. yard line. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Yeah, he, I was I was hoping 27 would get away from uh, Slayton, and he he almost did. He almost did. I was trying to get him on the other receiver. I would I would have uh, tried to scramble, but Cousins isn't doing that. <laughs> he didn't like fumble or anything at that forward pass. One on one. There you go. Giddy up Gallup. Block him. Give Barkley a breather, keep him fresh. The ground, he's gonna keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. A gain of three, second down. Penny, the ball 
carrier. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It's only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 31. It'll be a five-yard pick up there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes two. left in the opening half. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all run. the season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress. Around the block him, Hernandez. Good job, good job. I don't know, trust Hernandez. I was like, you better block him, dude. Then it's a guaranteed first down. Sometimes it gets lazy with me. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. You know Ingram could be wide open up the middle. See what they're doing. Or is a uh, you know what that was. I should have stuck with Ingram. I saw what that linebacker did, and I was like, well, maybe he won't. I think he had a good read on Ingram. But and I was like, well, maybe Isabella was open. Nope. That was a really shitty throw. I was almost picked because of cousin. Bro. Throw the cousin. Hot. Oh, there you go. Wide open. <clears throat> Don't look at Barkley. Crazy goose. Just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Run. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing yeah. here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. I'll do. Yeah, I could do a draw. Should I do a draw? I think I'm gonna call a timeout. That's all right. Let the time wind down. Call timeout. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts <clears throat> as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Third and inches. And I get got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Here's yeah, we just got it. And he Good gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. First That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset. I got wrecked. That's okay. I also need to watch time. I'm being a little too uh, cautious or uh, reckless, I guess. I don't know. What too comfortable. There you go. He was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. A second down throw for Cousins. He drop it. Yeah. That was that wasn't a smart pass. Seconds now on the clock here. Andy Isabella was the intended target, and it's third down. This offense was on the move. I think they're gonna be all over that unless Slayton gets wide open up the middle. What happens? Yeah, well, he's wide open. Yeah, I didn't think Ross was gonna get wide open. There you go, touchdown, motherfucker. That was luck. Almost screwed that throw up too. Then the Giants add on to their lead. The kicker. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build up their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league. So they decided to try. Our team's looking great in this one. Especially the defense. My defense was due to have a really good game. Like, we actually had a really good game against the Eagles. Eagles just had some EA gayness, you know. So really, we shut them down for offense. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final 12 seconds of the half now as they've got it first and 10. I thought you were going to run. Yeah. It's all right. You're going to call a timeout like a bitch. <laughs> you fuckers. <laughs> Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Let's do that again. 
I mean, if you run, you run. Second and a few inches. I think so. From the gun, Allen finding Knox there, complete. <clears throat> oh, one second. Come on, really? Whatever. All right. They don't have time. That was weird. It kind of controlled my player. Yeah, don't, you're not getting that. Thanks. <laughs> All over that. There you go. Howard just busted right through. And old Burnsy. This defense is just flat getting after him. They've not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Another false start. It's like the center. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Uh, I don't know if I should bring. I'll do cover three match. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause. I don't want to give Allen a chance for cheap yards, you know, by really bringing house. Wow, well, I had great coverage. There you go. Ho, 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 motherfucker. It ain't Santa Claus. It's Brian B -b -b Bernsey. My defense is just eating them alive, aren't they? We are eating him alive. Yeah, he'll probably just run. They're gonna just punt. Third and thirty. It's a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using the defense. Lawrence just busted the yeah, their old line is getting owned. <laughs> there you go. No, I'm talking about going buffalo hunting. We blocked it! Touchdown! Oh man, I'm having the best defensive game right now. There's Robert. I think that's the first time I've blocked a punt and a touchdown. Oh! Who blocked it? Number. Who's number 50? Robert recovered it, but like. Wait, number 50. Who's number 50? Try some piece of shit. Good job. <laughs> oh man. Now I'm having a game of my life. There you go. There you go. My defense coming back. They're waking up. Ever since Robert came back from injury, my defense has improved. Funny how one guy can make a difference. Seriously. But like I said, I rely on my linebackers to make plays. My secondary, they're not doing nothing. They do as luck. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? Oh, oh, oh. I think that now it's much more. In the All right, we got those receivers. And what covered. I mean by that is just what you said. You got over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical. You're all over it. Not too emotional. Who's that flag on? They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something. Some what? Somewhere. And so far, really? Just being caught, I don't know about that. Did I really put in a late hit? I was all over that play too. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. The tackle seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Brings up second and three. 
They stay on the ground. Geis again. Geis able to get this one down to the 40 yard line. Darius Geis, the ball carrier. Xavier Sometimes it's hard to believe. I'll stick with this zone here. There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? I think it's definitely passing. Has that the game he expected? But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Oh, I thought I picked it off. Oh, I thought that was a good zone for that play, but wow, somehow, I did not pick that off. I don't know how I did not pick that off. I didn't get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. I hit the wrong button, crap. He's going to get it, yeah. I meant to pinch it, yeah. Gave that to him. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got lucky. Almost got him. At the eight. And he will be brought down at about the six yard line. 18 yards uh, first and goal. I guess I'll go mid blitz. Likely gonna leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver. If you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him. Okay, Even he's he out of bounds. I tried to control him fast enough and, like, try to catch it. Because I felt like I was in position to pick that off. But you saw what I did with Howard. I was like, you know what, instead of blitzing with him, I'm going to have him kind of cover the middle. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line. And it's second and goal now. To the air, Allen. He got it. Yeah. Take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bills get a bit closer. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get. It was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Returning it, John Ross. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The New York set to take the field. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and ten. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, nice throw. as many times as you're going to carry the ball. I'll tell you, Ross speed, though, gave us all those yards. That's a good play for Ross, the drags. I like to go deeper with him, but that's where he doesn't run his routes or shows good hands. Well, that's a good home for him with drags. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Great blocks by uh, Bobo Cumballs. I can give Give Penny a carry. Give Barkley a breather. <clears throat> Keep him fresh. Or down this defense. I've kind of noticed. It looks like they're really focusing more on the run, though. They're uh, being a little more aggressive up front. They're making adjustments. What they're doing. Sometimes you just okay, sit back though. and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a I really hope they're bringing it. Not faking it. Okay. Oh, I just need time. And I didn't get it. Ross was going to get open. It was one-on-one. -on -one, and I think Ross would have burned him. 
Man, he, got uh, he, he got there pretty quick. Good, the good blitz. To to for that. But what your hope is that you figure yeah, out they weren't faking it. And get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, I just had to throw it. Oh, and I got picked. Yeah, that's what I get. See, this is where you can't be stupid. I mean, that's a, that's a clean pick, man. I should have just took the sack. I should have just took the sack. Ah. They're taking it, man. Because that's what happens right there. Especially with their secondary. Ah, jeez. Yeah. Dang, dude. Hey, Gallup wasn't open anyways. Johnson or whoever that was outplayed him. Damn it. Let's get the Bills right back in it. Look where they are. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. It's a gain of seven. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. I got to learn to just take a sack. Just punt. Throwing now is Allen. Very quickly here, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a game so from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now a run with Geis. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The ball carrier. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. This will be caught at about the five. Complete to number eight. It's a, a little nervous. Sets him up now first I'm going to watch the outside. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Going to run, though, isn't he? Yeah, at least I was all on that. Okay. Closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Actually, Van Der Rush, stay back just in case. Ah, no, couldn't get him. And the Bills cut into that lead. Lining up well, this four. offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now. Two third well, Bills, they're owning Same this third quarter. Remember what I said. It's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing I'm almost afraid their defense it figured it out. They got it done in this game. Hey. Of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt and black shoes and you pointed that out in front of the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud. You did. Uh, my bad. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with the first two Well, ten. um... Barkley was wide open, <laughs> but I waited too long. <laughs> they weren't really looking at him. I was really looking at Slayton and I think Ingram. I was like, are they going to get open? Never did. Yeah, I'm a little nervous right now. Their defense already looking a lot better. They're getting better pressure on me, too. They get into a manageable third down because they had incomplete shot first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. That's just a shitty fucking throw. Nice throw, Kurt Cock. That's not good. That's a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But the last one, man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. This is fielded at the 27. And he takes his Tried to kill him. Yeah, they definitely own this quarter. Can do anything. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten at their 38. They'll try to get this run They're trying to get that run game going. Oh no, Howard's hurt. No, 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 no. Tell me that's minor. We'll oh god we that's a bad injury second down at six now from the 42. bad injury 
from the gun. Allen. Yeah, quick throw here. That's nice defense, guys. That wasn't a very good play call, though. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 in a first. All right, well, he's gone for this game. Give him the ball, let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. On the handoff, it's Geis. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Darius Geis. Yeah, I don't know if this is exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule. That was a terrible third quarter. It's still open for the coordinator. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. The Bills have the football. Dude, hurt again. <laughs> yeah, the Bills made adjustments. Their defense looking way better. And they're they're running the ball a lot more. Uh, guys have what, 16 carries now, 15, 16. So they're making adjustments. Second and seven. Yeah, because really Allen wasn't throwing the ball that well. But that really hurts. I don't think he got the first down. And he's able to get it down. He did whatever. Shut your mouth. That one, a first down pickup of eight. eight pick up. First down, Bills. Here's Allen on first and ten. Dang it. I like the player swap. I want to control Van Der Esch. Ah, fuck the player swap. Player swap's a piece of shit. And a first down. I'm about to say, I can't believe he was able to avoid that. They've been all over that. Uh, at least it's holding on them. Come on, I'm going to try the Tampa 2 from Kane. Watch the outside more. I was hoping he would actually throw and not run, but we were all over that. Yeah, that's good defense. I don't know if I should do that again. Thinking about doing that again. Yeah, they're really letting guys try to be their hero. I'm going to run that one more time. It's not smart to run the same play multiple times like that on all Madden, but I'm going to do it. And it, it works. That was, that was good. Uh, it was pretty good zone. Couldn't get pressure on him to rush his throw, but that's okay. Good coverage. They have to settle for a field goal. But boy, they're making a comeback. Now it's really a one possession game. I gotta do something this next uh, drive. They just shut me out that third quarter. Really, they've been on offense pretty much the entire time. Second half. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get well, my defense is hanging strong, and they're doing what they can. You can't screw your defense over like that. Right, Cousins? Yeah, see, not a lot of yards in this game. Hurt Hawk Licker. Get good, bro. I said get good, homo. What kind of fucking throw is that? Piece of shit. He's wide open. Thanks for not blocking number 60. That was your guy. May have a three and out again. This is what I was afraid of. Bills are doing good defense all of a sudden. I mean, they can. On paper, they have a good defense. I think they figured it out. Wide open. Another terrible throw! He's wide open, Cousins! You dumb bastard! 
keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating. What the fuck was that? Cousins. Up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock. Really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. You can't. One yard on the return. Stupid Cousins. With a new set of downs. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, the defense got its job done. Forcing That's the disgusting, Cousins. They need to find the end zone here. Way over his head. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. Allen, they'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 36-yard line. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. So the shotgun snap oh. to Allen. Oh. Go Good move by that guy. And he slips up past the four Cousins missed that guy by 30 feet. Yep, for real. Cousins, God, fuck him, man. We need a QB. That's that's why we're four and five. And find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Gotta get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. I will say though, our pass defense hasn't been good. You saw we were last place. Uh, but we're we're doing well in this game. Maybe that's why the Bills are four and five because maybe overall Allen hasn't been throwing well. He's only an 83 overall. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again, Allen. Here's Moore to catch out of the backfield, and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And they're left looking the turnover to be great. Really what we need. Okay, hey. They're gonna punt. Okay. Yeah, it almost looks like Allen's not looking any better than Cousins. Uh, you know, believe it or not, I think Cousins is better than Jones. Jones, at least, I was able to go deep. Jones has a much better arm than Cousins. That's not saying much. Cousin has like 80 power. Probably 79 now. That was like a fucking bitch. That's why I have to do these little passes, you know? Like Tom Brady with the Patriots. Gotta do these little itsy bitsy passes. <laughs> Which is realistic, you know? Can't air it out with Cousins. Wide open. Hey! Don't drop it. Good job, Slayton. Hey, Cousins! You did it! You did it! My coach goes, you did it! Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. 
<laughs> and it was like he punched him in the back. He was gonna cash in. He's like, "Fuck you." <laughs> He's playing dirty on defense. Man, we need a turnover. My freaking offense is really hurting my defense here, you know? Ah, they're, they're in good field position. Yeah, I have to say, though, Barkley's fumbled, I think, three times this year, which is crazy. Boy, let me tell you, Vanderesh tried. Um... I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve. This built like this guy. Big target. Guy you can yeah, a really good easily. defensive game. It looked like it was going to be a blowout. And the Bills just shutting me out this second half. Crap. Oh, did he get the first down? Tell me he didn't. Oh, whatever. Whatever. He gave him too much space. Knox got good speed. I'll tell you what, though, a lot of false starts on the Bills O line. Not very disciplined. Was that 69 again? Him in the center. They've been doing that a bunch. No, it looks like it was a tackle. I don't like any of those plays. I'll go with this. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Get it, Allen. He's got the connection in the middle of the digs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I'll give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Again, they'll throw with Allen. I can't get him. To the end zone. Incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Just can't let him go to touchdown. Find the end zone over the top. Oh, they're actually running. There you go. There you go. Good job, Robert. I'm surprised. Oh, I did not think they were going to run. And he got the first, no, inches. Oh, I thought he got the first down. I just couldn't believe he decided to run. Maybe he just read my zone. And they're they're going to go for it. Uh, guess I got it. I just got to bring it. Two minute warning. God, it comes down to this. It comes down to this, man. I gotta watch the pass, because you never know. You never know. Oh, he did pass. He did pass. Fucker. Crap. Probably should have changed. Get in there. Get him. Oh, he got it. Now they have to get the two-point conversion. Uh, Goken kidding me, man. And he caught it. If I end up losing this game, it's because of my offense. Yeah, we have plenty of time. We just need a field goal. Burn a minute 40. Yeah, Kirk. Weirdo.
he tends to pick things up and they tend to play well. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On good block. <laughs> and the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Barkley, the ball they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, three situation. seconds. Should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. The 47 yard line. Just go down, don't fumble. And taking okay. it across midfield and inside the 45. First down. First and 10 at the 43 yard line. Watching the time. I call time out after this. Good, good blocks. Here I call time out here. He stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. We just, we just need a Queef Cousins. Queef, I like that nickname. Queef Cousins. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll go to Barkley again, and he gets it down to the 32. Oh, no timeout. I have one more. Uh, we'll, we'll throw. We have a couple throws. We're in field goal range. It'd be deep, though. And yeah, they want me to run, but... Oops. Pass. Need to ensure. Turnover. Don't take a sack. That was great. Great. Look at that. And we can go out of bounds. They even just let Ross go. They made that decision easy. Because if I didn't see anything right away, I would just throw it away. Because we have a couple shots, you know. Before I just kick a field goal. We're a lot closer now. It's a lot easier. Here's a first and ten. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. You didn't see that throw. I almost blew it. Okay, I'm not going to throw anymore. No more throwing the ball. We have 10 seconds. Let's just run. Let's just run. Let's just run. Use the final timeout. And uh, try to kick for the win here. They go back to the can get more two yards. And he'll take this one down near the 15. All time out. They do get a yard and here, man, it could be back to back games with a game winning field goal, huh? Should have been a blowout, but no. Nope. Kurt with Cousins. So this is certainly a tough test here in the early career of the Got this, Ryan, if you're watching. Comes in. Got this. With three seconds <sighs> you guys are like, wasn't it 28 to 3 at halftime? It was. Yeah, it was. The Bills' defense really stepped up. And then uh, Kurt so Quiff Cousins. Or if I miss this, this. Be bad, Rick. Ryan Rice says, no, I got it, bro. Right down the middle. Shouldn't have been a game. Whatever. But it's not that the Bills aren't good enough to make it a game, you know? Hey, Network, what's up, buddy? Hey, you know what? I won. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Who cares that it was 23 to 3 at half? A win's a win. But this was definitely a defensive game. With a Green Bay um, Packers. Meanwhile, for the Bills, it was a game they really needed. I knew it was too good to be true. I was like, you know, the Bills' defense is a little yeah, better than what they showed the first half of the game. And uh, yeah, but my defense, luckily, my defense really Davis, performed well. Um, so Allen, so we everybody. did really well against them. No, no turnovers, but we maintained them quite nicely. Cousins, you know, whatever. He's Quiff Cousins. 
I will say though, if I had Daniel Jones, I think I probably would have lost this game. He would have probably blew it. So, thanks to Barkley, we did have 353. That fumble did suck, but that's okay. Barkley does no wrong. Yeah, we, we held him under 300 yards, 296, so. Ugh. They were just on offense the entire, like, third quarter. Felt like pretty much half. Yeah, they probably owned time of possession because of that, right? They had to have. I actually had time of possession. It probably because I I was all over them first half. That's probably what it is, but that doesn't feel like it. Huh. Anyways. Yeah. yeah, I think that's his third fumble. Sucks. Barkley doing his thing now. Yeah, they were stuffing him second half. Yeah, they started utilizing him more second half. He was just doing okay. Touchdowns, though. Nothing too crazy here. Ross got a touchdown. Reed got one. He had a lot of uh, tackles. 17. Damn. You don't see that too often. I did run a lot, so yeah, they're going to have the tackles. Yeah, I only had one sack. They had two. They would have had more if I just took it and didn't throw an interception. And we both hunted three times. Oh boy. So now we are five and five. It's a fun mode. Oh, what's that? Fun mode? Try face of the franchise. What a lot of people say. Maybe I'll try it one day. Wait, where's... Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to stream that after this. Yeah. Oh, man. Freaking Bills, man. They were almost the comeback kids. There you go. 1,000 XP for all receivers. Nice. Yeah, we're getting a lot better. It's because, you know, we're, we're performing. Hard to say about winning, but we're we're getting a lot of uh, goals, big goals. So I guess I'm winning at the right time, you know. But get like a lot better. I think we have a three game winning streak right now, so this is good. Team's on the right track all of a sudden. Now the Packers, I wonder if they're going to be really tough. Oh my god, did it do it again? Oh my god, it froze again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! It. I'm not making this up. Like, what is the deal with that? Can you name him? <laughs> I should. I wonder if I could fit that in his last name. Kirk Quiff Cousins. <laughs> They were trying to keep it uh, family friendly, so instead of with the R, with the F, Quiff, or Queef, I guess you would probably pronounce that more Queef. I guess it doesn't matter. Queef Cousins. Uh, anyways, alright, well, I'm going to go get some coffee, because uh, I got to load this back up, because it froze. I'll be right back. We'll, we'll face the Packers. I'll play another game. I'm on a winning streak, baby.
All right, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Brew me some fresh hot coffee, man. Hey, Tom. How you doing, buddy? Yo, Joey, I have the answer to the freezing issues after franchise games. You won't like the answer. Oh, what's the answer? So, I'm here again. Uh, let me guess your answer, because now it's two for two right now. Once I closed the game and started it back up, it didn't freeze and it let me in the player upgrades. I'm going to assume you're going to say, after you're done playing your game, before you go to the player upgrade, if you have any, exit the franchise and go back in. Is that what you're going to say? Because if so, that is, I mean, I don't know. That's so stupid. If that's going to be the answer. But, um, yeah, I know it's super annoying. Uh, luckily, the cloud saves your progress. So, now if this was offline franchise, you know, you'd have to manually save. So, man, I'd be so mad. I probably wouldn't be playing Madden right now, you know? Hey, Boston, how you doing, buddy? I think the digital and online franchise have freezing issues. Oh, is that what it is? EA Sports, it's in the game. So I can't really say the up or the upgrades, the patches, because it was like this from day one, this whole freezing issue. At least they did fix the lag. The game doesn't lag anymore. Uh, very slim. 
on and off, but not not too often. Oh, really? The offline doesn't freeze? I mean, that would make sense, but yeah, I don't know. I do recommend cloud anyways, because at least if something happens, the game's going to save, even if you're in the middle of a game. See, offline, you'd lose all your progress, you know? Um, anyways, let me do my upgrades. Oh, Burnsy! In 87 now. I wonder how many sacks he has. Ooh, speed, nice. He's got great finesse. 89 speed now. Yeah, pretty fast. There's Hernandez. He hasn't had an upgrade in a while. Uh, should I go power? Or... Try to give him to fit the scheme. So that sucks. He's still in 86, but that's okay. Good upgrades though. <clears throat> oh, there's old Dexter Lawrence again. There you go. And then these other guys I don't give a crap about. Uh, power rusher or run. Uh, let's like I said, try to get these guys to fit the scheme. So we'll go run stopper. So he didn't get better as far as his overall, but 86 as a run stopper, so that's good. And we'll just we don't care about these players. We'll just auto that. Yes, but you need to be disconnected from the internet. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just super annoying, you know. That that's can you imagine how annoying that would be? <laughs> Terrible, man. Alright, well, ready to advance. Yeah, you get the patches earlier. But also, if you have a friend... See, that's, if anything, that's one positive thing I could say about Madden is, like, their online franchise is awesome where you can have your friends and other people join your franchise and, you know, you'd have fun, you know? Like we're gonna do here pretty soon. Just need two more people. And, uh, you know, so that's awesome, you know? There's still a lot of issues with Madden. I think the gameplay is really a step towards the right direction. It really is. Um, a lot better than last year, in my opinion. But still, you know, still got your typical EA nonsense. Uh, some bad bugs. Oh, you're on season three. Nice. Yeah, I think this is what season four. I'm glad my defense had a good performance. So yeah, we have a three-game winning streak. We're five and five. Team's making a comeback. And er yeah, ever since Robert came back from the injury list, defense is looking a lot better. So I think two out of the three games, defense has been good. We have more upgrades. You know, I took a gamble because it could have froze again. It didn't freeze. Okay, so I bet after I play the Packers, then I, I it'll probably freeze, right? <laughs> Piece of shit. Go so speed rusher. So Robert's in, or excuse me, Howard's in 88, but he's in 89 because of his morale. I'll tell you, so far, Howard, best draft pick, man. He's a beast. I, I think he's going to get the X Factor. I really do. And Robert, by far, is my second best draft pick. Linebackers, baby. Should I go pa uh, pass coverage again to help him out? Try to help his coverage. Dang it, he's still in 84. Or in 83, technically. Okay. Well, zone coverage is plus three. Getting a quick boost, he's got plus one acceleration. I think I think Robert's going to be a beast if we can get his zone coverage really good. It's bumping up pretty fast. Because his last upgrade was plus four. Even though his he's still in 83 overall. Overall hasn't moved yet, but 
his, his zone coverage was 68, so coming a long way. But yeah, 91 speed, 91 acceleration, pretty fast. And I like his hit power. Oh, Van Der Esch. We haven't seen Van Der Esch get upgraded in forever. Been the tackling machine. <clears throat> cool. You having fun playing as a Ravens? Oh, I bet. They're freaking good. <laughs> so let's see what the Packers look like. I think Aaron Rodgers is still playing. Yeah, I mean, they have a very good team. Definitely a lot better than mine. Look at all those 90s. So Aaron Rodgers, still their starting QB, which is pretty cool. 39 years old. He's still not bad. 82. He still has his X Factor. I wonder if he can ever lose it. I wonder if that players can lose it. I feel like they can. Oh, so they picked him up as their running back. He's no Aaron Jones, but that's pretty good. He's young. Yeah, Devontae Adams, yeah, 99 punches. That's a very good rookie they drafted, Paul Forrest. Wow. Fast, too. Wow, they got some really good weapons. They got a rookie tight end. <laughs> they don't really have a tight end, though. Still have him. He's a beast. Getting older, though. He's really good. He's injured. That That helps us. Um, that's actually a good rookie center. It looks like they had a pretty good draft. They drafted a dang good wide receiver, and he looks pretty good. They needed that, too. They drafted him last year. It looks like uh, Packers have had good drafts. They've done a good job with their draft picks. Yeah, Kenny Clark, I watch out for him. He's a beast. Of Smith. Like they have some holes, but then they got some really good players. Hmm. Yeah, they they still have a really good team. I can see why they're seven and three. This is gonna be a tough matchup. Okay. How's my injuries look? Look at that. Who's injured right now? Or am I clean? Okay, I'm clean. Yeah. We did have a couple bad injuries, but we are fully healthy right now. Good timing. I like how it says they're an 85 overall, but I know that's not true. They, on paper, looking at the Ross, they're, they're a better team than I am. They definitely have a better team. Kind of weird. Looks like Network's talking crap. Network's like, I destroyed the 49ers like the Dolphins did. <laughs> oh, man. Tonight, from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, it's week 12 of the NFL on EA Sports. Here we go. Green Bay. Who knows, this could be the last time we'll see Aaron Rodgers. Who knows when he'll retire? Remember Tom Brady? He didn't retire until like forever. Actually, he is retired right now, right? Because he he just kept playing. He was like 50 years old. He was still going. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions. Now I want to double check. Tom Brady still may be playing. <laughs> Ah, oh, running with your tight end. Giants did that. Ingram got a touchdown. 
Hey, Howard. Tight end, the ball carrier. He's tackled it. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here. Second and three. Brings up second and three. <laughs> ah, I couldn't get him. With his first carry Good job. I-98. Devin Singletary. Oh, Singletary. oh Burnsy. Uh, yeah, I'll go cover two sink. I, I don't like this zone too much, but in case they, they run. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to run. I got some freaking punks. Yeah. I never, I don't know, I don't like that, that zone. I don't think it's very good. So opening drive, third down, they complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple Come on, of dirty fingers. You got to be a little more aggressive than that. The ball should be there, and then they can get do some work afterwards. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Dirty fingers. You can't let Devontae Adams have space like that. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, all over that. Boom, 98 again. Oh, Burnsy. Just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. That's a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end. It really wants me to blitz, but I'm going to go zone. I don't know about all that. I don't want to help Aaron Rodgers out. Stayed home. Skated to the outside and made the play. Oh crap, I screwed up. Doing that Here's vagina shit. Left to his back. I actually picked the right zone. I think the zone I chose. That's not a bad zone against the, the screen. I think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were gonna come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it, they love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, oh, the dang, good throw. And expressing, just keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. I can't say the coverage was bad. That was a good throw. From the eight, they've got it first and goal. I'm not going to blitz with Van Rush here. Bring an extra heat, though. Shotgun now to Rodgers. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. And goal. Good yardage on first down. Now You're going to really run? You're going to fake it? No, he is. Yeah. Right. His old line owned it. I think their offense is going to be really tough. What's my record? I am five and five. Score on the opening drive. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that. And the Packers are 7-3. and three. Game, don't you? you certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there. That nice opening drive because you know, they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. No return on this one. It's a fair catch. A single four and take it. So here's oh boy, Kirk Cousins. Excuse me, Kirk. With Cousins. State, the former Spartan, it's Kirk Cousins. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns. Oh, oh I screwed up my juke. That's right, a good safety. First and foremost, they did win the game. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him the first down. First down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Oh, just missed it. That's all right. Play game. That's all right. That's going to set him back five yards. Still first down. 
The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Open target here, Darius Slayton. Cousins pass. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Brings up second and two at the 46-yard line. There you go, wide open. There you go. There's a giddy up gallop. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 32-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man. To need a win. Oh, yeah. Always need a win. Now I need a loss. Crap. They had good sheds. Barkley tried to escape. And he will cross the 30 down good to the 29-yard line. Kenny right. Clark. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Oh, geez. Ah! Oh. Hey, I needed time, but Gallup was going to get open for me. I mean, good job by the old line giving me that much time. But... I was getting a little nervous. Well, Ingram just has a lot of space. Thanks, that was a pretty first down. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, I mean, look at him. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. The major offense has to keep pace. And the Giants first down. They go back to the ground. He made a heck of a play. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. The tackle that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again they show passing formation. Uh, press on my receivers. I don't know if anyone can get a release. Uh, well, you know what? Ingram is just wide open. <laughs> They're like, oh, he's going deep. You know what? No, I'll go underneath. You know, leave Ingram open. Oh crap! Barkley's tired. First Should probably to get that initial touchdown right back. I'll look at Gallup. Maybe they won't look at him. I hit the button, whatever. Oh, that's okay. Oh, two delay games for him. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. The delay of game, a costly one. Is there See, why is my kicker out there? We need to fix that garbage. Alright, I'm gonna run right up the gut. Oh, the old line failed me. Good defense there. Wow. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Still a ways from the end zone as they come up now on second and goal. Working out gun. Cousins. You know, Slayton was open, but he wasn't paying attention. I actually blame Slayton on that one. I almost got picked because of that. Just a Come on, guys. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the gun, that wasn't guns. smart. Yeah, that wasn't. And that's gonna be they were all over him. The all right. There enough to jar that, ball <laughs> that wasn't a good play I chose. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly. Enforcing incompletions. Is good. Makes the score Packers seven, Giants three. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. Twelve plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Twenty-five yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December oh, yet. Oh, damn it, player swap. Bastard. Looking really good and Hate it. Looking to be a threat come January. Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, 
try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 43 yard line. On second down, here's a run with Big old gaping hole. The 50 and into giant territory. Call it an eight yard game, much okay. better shape now. Linebackers again. Just a yard. It's a gain of heavy set out there on third and one. Come on, guys. There you go. There you go. All over that. There you go. Oh, Vanderish. If I punt that ball, that's going to leave him with a fourth down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Cousins. Nope, bad. And that is incomplete. He read that perfectly. Wide open. Oh, that 5,000 career receiving yards for old Ingram. We're going to the second quarter here. That's the end of the first quarter. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Got hit, didn't I? <clears throat> and this one's incomplete. For Darius Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Beautiful blocks. There you go. He's taken down inside the 30. Go. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First down. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second uh -huh. round ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Nope, they were all over that. I mean, outstanding catch for nothing. <laughs> Not much there. Only a I was hoping they weren't looking at him. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Uh, uh, could have been picked. That was playing with fire. John Ross, the one he was looking for, but now it's third down. Seven to this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. That wasn't smart. I just misread the defense. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense an unexpected fourth down here. Hold me to still the score, Packers seven, Giants six. No problems in the They're really good the players. So they're they're making two. plays on me. Kind of tricking me. And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, <clears> his confidence should be sky high. It always gets me nervous when I feel like they're kind of outsmarting me a bit. Taken in the end zone. Had no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yard line. So here are the Packers now to take over. They won two straight and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he'll be upended at the 28 yard line. Just a three yard game there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A three yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Working from the gun, Rogers. Damn, motherfucker! Nice hit, Robert. No fumble, but still, that's always satisfying. 
position because it's all hit mismatches with his size the slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness their speed and their route running savvy and now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete he was looking for the connection with Devin Funches but it's going to be second down brings up second, second and 10 a very chilly day here but no snow and I gotta say if it's going to be this cold Ooh. I want oh crap snow. He totally fooled me, man. I, I really thought he was going to scramble. Hey, you go, Brett. All over that. Yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for uh, him in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second and 12 now at the 44 yard line. Now Rodgers. Swing to Adams. Stop him right here. Uh, do I want to bring pressure? Right. I'm looking with my outside. Howard. Oh, he's actually running. Get him! Did he get it? Tell me he didn't get it. He got it. He almost stopped it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33 line. Dang it, I got stuck. Oh, there you go. Burns, he said. I didn't get stuck. Woo! Burns, he... Yeah, Burns has been on fire here lately. He started the season quite slow, but he's beaten up with some sacks. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's why if you play in a 4-3 base... And your defensive end, why we signed them. That's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run, and of course, get to the quarterback. And he gets this to the 35. <clears throat> Good for a gain of five. Pass. Complete to number 86. It's a gain of five. Return third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is gonna be third and third Come on, guys. Operating from the gun. Oh, and get the first down. All right. They were in field goal range anyways. They're actually going for it. The drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. No, tell me he didn't get it. All the defenders pointing out the receiver where he was going and then able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. That was for the can't believe they did it. Went for it, huh? Situation, was it? That wasn't for the was You don't see that too often. Aaron Rodgers said screw you. That's that's a lot to what, what would you say? A lot of pizza left in that box. <laughs> it certainly is. Not everyone dove in on that one. In today's NFL, this is a passing down. All right, this is not a running down. That takes a lot of guts to call that play and even better execution. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. Play action. Oh, geez, did I get pancaked? Find his tight end here, DeGuara. Rogers. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. The Packers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and nine. From the gun, Rodgers. All right. I doubt you're going to go for it again. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of right. what he needed. Watch they fake this field goal. I don't think they are. When you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage. Good job by the defense. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good understanding. Six. Ready. It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. What did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. 
They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. The Packers are they're definitely a tough team. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Wide open, but I screwed that up. I waited too long. The Ingram, they weren't even looking at him. That's a shame. I was paying better attention. Gonna be one on one, or I'll go to. Can I get the first down? I think I got it. Good job, Barkley. Like I trust Barkley. I'm just getting it. I didn't think they were gonna give Barkley that much space. Ooh. Uh, throw it away. X was wide open, but I was on the run. I didn't want to chance a terrible throw. Too bad I didn't see him. It was too late. I wanted to throw like a second earlier. Second sooner, but it just it wouldn't let me. It like lagged. I if you saw that, it was like that lag was so epic that it wouldn't let my controls work for a second. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Ah. Oh. Could be. I was really wanting to go deep to Ingram, but man, they just had it covered. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And the Giants send out their punter now. As he's on to punt for the first time tonight. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first year. <laughs> nice hit, bro. <laughs> we'll call it a 42 yard punt, three on the return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down <laughs> Nice hit. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time. And they're I think Aaron Rodgers is going to bring it. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one who goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's an end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, oh, damn, motherfucker. <laughs> Got peppers. We don't. We got it. No. No. This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the defense. I'm going to bring some pressure. Oh, yeah, he actually may run, so right time for it. No, I didn't think so. Oh, were they trying to do... Oh, it was the right time for a blitz. Maybe you get it in pre snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back to back incompletions. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Trying that vagina shit, huh? Don't let him get it. Don't let him get the first down. Do what they do. I, they may let the time. I'm not going to call a timeout. I'm willing to go to half. I think that's what's going to happen. They won't punt it. They're going to punt it. That's just, like, what's the point, you know? Just to give your punter stats. It's actually a defensive game. Nope. Yeah, ever since Robert came back, defense looking a lot better. 
The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Return Packers defense Ross. looking pretty good as well. That's the problem. Not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the They have some playmakers on that defense. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better. Block in Hernandez. That was beautiful blocks. Oh, that better not be on me. Great job by Hernandez. Of course. Right in. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Go ahead and get Barkley a breather. First and sticks. Oh. I don't want to throw here. What they do. If Slayton got open, I was hoping, um, because I was looking at their formation, I'm like, you know, at least one of my guys is going to get open. And the Giants. First down. Yeah, don't get killed. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Nine's been a pest. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes. Oh my God, this could be huge. Oh, and he dropped it. See, that's why I don't like going deep to Ross. Because he drops them. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Had good protection, too, to do it. Oh, God. Oh, well, Barkley's open. Well, that was a lot of hang time. I was, I was worried about 31 getting there. <laughs> That was a little worrisome. But Barkley was open. Besides that, good catch by Barkley. Not the prettiest throw. That's why I don't like going deep to Bar uh, the Cousins. You see throws like that. It's like, oh my God, not enough mustard. Gotta like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still. Ten Ross on Creeks. He is no. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. He is so fast. Oh no, I know. I know. He, I, I don't do the streaks. Like I, I used to be a downtown guy, but I, I have Kirk Cousins. Don't forget. Don't, don't forget who my QB is. I would love to take cheap shots because I am about that. If I get one-on-one -on -one matchups, I take shots, but not with Cousins. Not with Cousins. He's got a woman arm. Well, there you go. Great blocks. Got to see Barkley do a little dancing. Right. I think he's going to get open. That's beautiful pass. Touchdown, Gallup. Giddy up, Gallup. There you go. Beautiful. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually right. got affirmation Boom. about what they were doing by getting a Good touchdown. Drive. Because the field goals yeah. means they got in range, but couldn't quite Thanks finish it off. Guys. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. At their own 25 yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait get to see what they have planned. Uh uh uh, Rodgers, where you think you'll be going? Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run, the 
these things work well for us, and sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. So yeah, I took a gamble. Sometimes when you just go balls to the wall and blitz. Yeah, Van Der Esch. I'll tell you what, we're stuffing him. He's not running anywhere. Uh, sliders. I haven't really touched sliders much at all. Just the interceptions and the QB accuracy. That's why I like, I, I think the gameplay is a step to the right direction. I really do. But yeah, like, I'll show you my stats. They're, they're pretty real. They really are. I'd say they're, oh, I screwed, I dove for his feet too early. Okay, he didn't get the first down, though. Did have a sack. Right, what are they going to do? They like to be aggressive with me. They're going to punch. Okay. Yeah, I'm 45. Never know, though. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. Touch back, please. Yep. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So now the Giants set to take over. Let me try that. Offense. I'll try a curl. A three game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Unless Barkley gets wide open. Okay. On first and ten, Cousins. I was afraid because they have good corners. He made a play. <laughs> Maybe I, I waited a split second too long. But he was really uh, on Gallup there. But yeah, Barkley was covered too. I didn't look at the other guys because when it comes to a curl, it's a bang bang. You know? Oh God! No! 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 Get it! <laughs> they waited for me to get up. <laughs> What is that? They're like, wait, let's, let's be polite. Let him get up. And then F him up. At least I recovered it. That was terrible. Rodgers, don't taunt me. I have feelings. Only I can do that. This isn't good. I'm probably going to punt. Their defense would have to make a huge mistake because Cousins can't go deep. Yeah, I'm just going to have to settle for this. Let's not risk it, you know. Sometimes you gotta admit defeat, man, realistically. Got some of those yards back and punt. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down all You could tell they they gave that to me too. They're like, you can have that because that's fourth down. Fourth down there. It's a return of four following a 42 yard run. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Yeah, really good defensive game here. I'm actually proud of my defense. Doing a good job against Rodgers so far. Rodgers super accurate, but we're maintaining him. Stuff in their run game. They should have kept Aaron Jones. They probably couldn't afford him. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this cover two drop. Yeah, we both don't have a lot of yards. Oh, oh, he got it. I really did not think he was gonna run. Didn't think it. He barely got it. Rodgers is unpredictable, man. Well. 
He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Tackle made at the The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. There you go. Good job, guys. Single carry again. They know that old expression. It's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. Uh, the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up. Yeah, I don't know about this. That was the same case on that play. I got pancakes. Thanks, player swap. Good tackle by Baker. I wanted to control Baker. He held me a field goal. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job of limiting that and keeping it from the first down. I got to figure out this Packers defense. So they put together a good little drive here. We're about to enter the fourth quarter here. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. At least I'm not getting smoked, so. The team's doing a good job. New York set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Uh, a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs. And I was hoping one of you guys would help me out and get open. <laughs> Don't like have a conversation with the defender, get open, move around, you know. <laughs> she just threw it away. Alright, we're gonna go to the fourth quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. But defense. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. In the game. Looking to throw again on oh, down. overthrew it. Yeah, I saw the one on one. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. The Giants on third down. They're at 50%. Four for eight. This is third and 14. Well, there you go. Wide open. Oh, get it. I don't think I got it. I did. Good job, Isabella. Speed won that one. First down, Giants on a pick Some pretty good games all weekend. We may have saved the best for last. Hold the blocks, guys. Oh, crap. I screwed that up. I should have slowed down for my blocker there. 59 has been a pest. You know what, Isabella? Just go deep. I want to see what's going on. Wide open. Wide open. That was a bad... They, they had miscommunication. 23's like, oh, is that my guy? Oh, man. And see that throw? That was a shitty throw. I mean, Cousins, he, he really... He doesn't have the arm strength to go deep. But only... Uh, Slayton was able to get the ball. Yeah, his deep accuracy is really bad. And he doesn't have the strength to go too deep. That was like his limit. But yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, Slayton wide open. Glad he held on to that. That fell apart. Jesus. There's Clark. Big boy. Okay, let Ingram wide open. Thanks. And they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line. 15 yards on the play. First down. A gain of 15. in a tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. 
Well, that was ballsy. That was ball. That, you know what? Nothing against Slayton, and he almost made a spectacular catch, tucking that in. But I just realized who was guarding him. That could have been an easy pick. Right, Alexander was on him. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the twenty. They're, they're starting to really tough the run. Oh, shit. Ingram was wide open again, too. Flag. Oh my god, is that on them? Tell me it is. Oh my god, it's gonna be fresh downs. <laughs> Thank you, Robertson. <laughs> nice. Uh, you know what? You know what? I think I fucked up. I fucked up. I, I had a guy open. Very short window, but yeah, I, I hesitated. And that was that. I didn't want to risk it. That was a shame. I totally missed it. Oh, I got nervous. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. No! 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 Alexander, their stud. Oh! Oh! Yeah. He just totally outplayed Slayton. I mean, he is, what, like a 99 overall corner. What, what else would you expect? Dang it. Well, they're, they're roughing the kick or pay it off. I didn't get nothing now. First turnover. Tag nabbit. What I get? That's what I get for challenging their best player. Arguably their best player. Devontae Adams is probably their best player. He's their best defensive player. Him and Kenny Clark. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Right side gonna be complete to Deguara. Josiah Deguara. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm gonna keep firing. Adams hauling it in for Rodgers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 more yards there and another first down. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. First and ten at the 47-yard line. They run the counter. Singletary. And not able to break away. Dirty fingers made a good play. Got dirty fingers. And those own blitz. Second and eleven. Brings up second and eleven at the 48-yard line. Beautiful. Throwing quickly out wide. And that play will go nowhere. Down. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at like we know Rod or, yeah, Rogers is not gonna make a mistake. He just gotta stop him. They'll try to move forward here on third and twelve. Too good for that. Yes. yes, there you go! Ho ho ho, motherfucker, it ain't Santa Claus, it's Brian. 
Burnsy. Man, Burns is on fire. He's been getting the sacks here lately, man. Burns is, boy, doing what, you know, we signed him to do. Get to the QB. I wonder how many sacks he has. Big sack. All right, that better be a touchback. Nothing. Okay. Oh, shut the fuck up. Really? EA Sports in the game. Whatever. That's some gay shit. It is a defensive game, man. I don't know if I should really go slants. Nervous. I was actually a little nervous on that one. I just want to get out of here. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. No! 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 Oh, no! No! Oh, man. See, I didn't want to sit in the pocket too long. No. No. Oh, no. Get him! Fucking bastard! Oh, had great man coverage. Good read by Rodgers, man. That's why he's tough. I just couldn't catch him with Howard. I mean, it's definitely not the defense's fault. Freaking Kurt Quiff Cousins. Damn. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a really tough game. Packers are really good. You're ruining my gaming experience, Packers. I'm just kidding. It's been a clean game. They're just better than me. The difference is they have a QB. I don't. Get fresh downs there. Oh, I tried. Try to make a move on him. And a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. A gain of three. Well, it comes down to we just need to tie this. Dirty low hit on Rodgers. They would be fighting, <laughs> right? So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Throwing again on second down. That was stupid. And he can't That's on me. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, I think that was a good down. play anyways. He was unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. It makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit digged up here? Or is it just off? No! Oh! And square was open. And for whatever reason, Cousins wouldn't throw it. 
This is gonna be it right here. At this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. Fortunate to get that football back. Oh my god. Here in the second half, last I think eight, my winning streak is coming to an end here. I think, up here is opportunity because I, think I jumped there. nothing. I don't know, should I punt? And I have all my timeouts. Should I actually trust the defense? I mean, fourth and 24. I... Oh my god. I, I'm actually thinking, let my defense try to get a a stop really quick I don't know if Cousins can do it Packers defense has been brutal the Giants send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this got that off in time this may not be smart, but we we have to get a turnover. Have to, or just a quick three and out. So I have all my timeouts. The only reason why I did it because I I don't trust Cousins. I don't think he can get the first down. Especially the way the Packers defense is looking in this game. Uh, they've been a beast. Be. Play ball. Speed. Aggressive. 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 We're being super aggressive here. That's all we can do. We're going to be try to be as, as violent as possible. Of course they're going to run. Okay, so I'm going to call a timeout here. They get a first down. It's over. Okay. As he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Then my linebackers here. Clearly they're gonna run. I always want to have coverage just in case. Never know with Rogers. They'll keep it on the ground. Single Terry. I'm out. Can we get the three and out here. Third and five. As it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Brings up third and five. I think he's gonna throw it. Nope, he is. That was a good. That was a good play. Yep. I should have watched the outside. I was watching up to get. Well, there's no reason to call timeout. It's over. That was a big run. Good play. Smart play. That's it. All right. We almost had a three now. Love the mindset. Love the way he flipped the switch late in the game. Needed a big run and help produce it with great leverage from the offensive line. But you also know what happens too. The defense stacks the line. So if you can break through that first barrier, there's usually plenty of room to run. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from oh. the time you're playing Little League football all the way yeah, up through. Really defense and they there. closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So for the Packers, they keep pace in the playoff races. They move to eight and three on the year. And they'll hit the road next week. Yeah, Rodgers didn't have any touchdowns. I think last year when I faced him, I think he destroyed me and had like four or five touchdowns. To like it won't be there Here's my problem though. Kirk Quiff Cousins. Bastard. They will take on the Dallas Cowboys. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching. Not a lot of yards NFL. in this one. Audie Sports. Good game. Good game. Made sense too. The Packers, they are a good team. Now they're eight and three. Yeah, I just can't give cousins that many throws. That's probably why, you know. Yeah, I can't give them all those attempts. Yeah, I do that to try to give my receivers some stats, you know, and I always spread it, but 
it's hard when your QB looks nuts. You know, unless you face a really bad defense. But, man. Like the Eagles, they had a really bad defense. There's a rookie wide receiver. He had a good game. Well, not really. He had six catches. Yeah, we actually did a good job against Adams. Their defense came into this game hot. Yeah, Smith. Yeah, he was killing me. Sacks. Yeah, Burns had two sacks. We each had two. He had the picks. That one was stupid to challenge him like that. Then that was... Whatever. Right to Preston's. Darn, man. Off-season. You guys like, just send the off-season. <laughs> Oh yeah, kicked me out. So we're five and six. Let's see. Let's look at our position. You know, sorry, I let you guys down. That was a good game. I, I mean, I can't bitch about that. It's just you know, those interceptions kind of summed it up. But yeah, if we look at uh, stats, so let's go ahead and sim this week and we'll look at stats so yeah they're eight and three we're five and six stop asking joey to go to off season people have no faith in me they're like joey you suck dick go to off season and improve <laughs> uh that's funny don't you guys have confidence in me i guess not with uh Kurt quiff cousins huh I am proud of my defense. I'm glad. Uh, yeah, ever since Robert came back, man. Cause uh, we had a good defense last year, and yeah, like the, I think the start of this season, if I remember, our defense was good. Robert got hurt. Defense. <laughs> our past defense was awful. Like improved. Came back. There's actually a couple corners here. That one cornerback looks good. I really should draft a QB if I even get the opportunity. There's two of them. All right, I'm not going to touch the upgrade because it'll probably freeze. Cowboys are 9-2. I'll probably lose this game. Still can't figure the Cowboys out. Their offense is too ridiculous. Um, We're third in the division. Yes, the Eagles are really bad. I mean, I destroyed them. Played them last week, so that'd be a free win. Dolphins, maybe. I, I think they've gotten better. Cardinals may be a good team. Patriots, hard to say at this point. Um, you know, I want to remind myself, did Tom Brady retire or is he still playing? Let's see. I think he's still playing. Tom Brady's still playing. That's right. He's still their starting QB. Now, will this be his final year? That's crazy, huh? 2023, he's still playing. Think he'll do that in real life? I don't think he will. I actually don't. I bet he, he'll play one more year after this year, and I, I think he's done. I mean, he's, he's 
Still doing it. 23 touchdowns, four picks. I mean, better than Kirk Quiff Cousins. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's still playing. Pretty cool, though. Uh, so let's look at stats. See how realistic the stats look, you know? So, like, my offense is fifth right now in, in yards, which is believable. Defense, 26. So we had a bad stretch. So that's, that's realistic. Uh, points scored were eighth. Now, points allowed were last, but, you know, you got to put those turnovers in effect, you know, because I have uh, Kirk with Cousins with 17 through, what, 11 games? Not as bad as Daniel Jones, but still not good. 24 touchdowns. Um, the yards are good, 271. It's because we have good weapons, you know. We have the receiving core, 62%. I mean, to be honest, I think for his talent, those are, I think, realistic enough numbers when you think about the kind of talent he has around him, you know? Uh, Barkley. Now, Barkley's killing it. He has 10 touchdowns, almost a touchdown a game. He is averaging 119 a game. Three fumbles. Yeah, he has three fumbles. Uh, Penny has one, too. Yeah, Penny's just doing okay as a backup. You know, he's just there to give Barkley a breather. Um... Yeah, Barkley's doing really well. Yeah, I mean, you know, the average and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's all believable. He has a 99 overall running back. Shame about the fumbles. Um, Gallup's closing in on 1,000 yards. He's averaging roughly 88 yards a game. Believable. Touchdown a game. That's pretty good. He's on pace for 16. And that's not even intentional. It's just... When it comes to the red zone, Gallup is Mr. Reliable, and he gets open for me, you know? That's the difference between the pros and the Joes, you know? Gallup gets it done with great hands, and he jumps for it. Ingram would have better stats. He did miss several weeks. What makes Ingram good is he's so fast. So unless the linebacker is good... Ingram's going to get open a lot. Sometimes. Yeah, Slayton so far has been the big disappointment. His catches are there. See, I've been trying to give him the opportunity. Um, I've had issues looking for Slayton. Because look at his average. Not very good. Not very good. Okay. Gallup is by far my big playmaker. Now Van Der Esch, he's a tackling machine. Baker actually is second. Because he's always giving up yards. Oh, he's like, well, Joey, I have three interceptions. Leave me alone. See, Howard would be up there in tackles, but Howard missed, uh, I think, a couple weeks. Robert missed some time. Yeah, I had some bad injuries. It hurt my defense for a little bit, but now since it's healthy, defense looking pretty good here the past several weeks. And my linebackers are beast. So, yeah, Burns does lead the team. He has eight and a half sacks. Pretty good. He's been on fire here lately. Oh, Burnsy. Yeah, Robert, that's very impressive because he missed a lot of time. He still has five and a half sacks. There's Howard with five. Yeah, these are my boys right here. Van Der Esch is really good, but he, he's really just a tackling machine. That's really what he is. He's not really going to get to the QB. Maybe he'll get one interception. There's his pick. How many interceptions do I have? So yeah, it's it's funny how Baker has three. 
30 fingers has two. I'm glad to see that. Uh, so let's see, five, six, seven. I have eight picks through 11 games. That's probably realistic. Because my secondary, well, they do have most of it, actually. Here's my linebackers. There's my safety. I wish Peppers was good at getting interceptions. He's just a guy that kills people. Force fumbles. Yeah, now force fumbles, I only have three. There's Peppers right there. He had eight last year. He only has one right now. Yeah, Peppers hasn't really uh, been known this year. He's been a little quiet last year. He was a beast. So much this year. I actually have, I think, yeah, two defensive touchdowns. Both Robert. <laughs> Robert the man. <laughs> and Ryan, if you're watching, you're kicking good. 16 for 18. Your long is 55. He missed some extra points. Three of them. That's okay. So yeah, those are my stats. So, I mean, they're believable, you yeah, know. Considering. And if we look at the team stats, let's see where we rank. So this is total offense. Jets actually... You know what? Okay, so the Jets was the one that destroyed me, right? They're the ones with Baker Mayfield. Now they have the number one offense. So maybe, maybe that's why I got destroyed. They actually have the number one offense. Go figure. Okay, whatever. Cowboys, I definitely believe because I can't stop their offense. It's ridiculous. Yeah, the Falcons. Uh, Matt Ryan, even though he's not as good as he used to be due to age, he still threw all over me. But he has, like, amazing weapons. Yeah. But yeah, we're up there in total offense. We're fifth. So. Uh, passing, we're probably not going to be up there. Raiders actually have the worst passing. Well, there there you go. Mayfield apparently is a top QB this year. He destroyed me. Go figure. Matt Ryan destroyed me too. Okay. Uh, I don't, I didn't face the Texans. I faced the Titans. Yeah, we, we did pretty good against the Bills. Anyways, uh, where am I rank? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, passing, I'm ranked 16 on offense. So, average. Um, yeah, you know, the Bills couldn't run on me at all. They have the worst running offense, so there you go. Um, yeah, Cowboys, I believe it, because Elliott, yeah. Ravens, I can believe. So we're third, and that's believable because we have Saquon Barkley. You know? We're third. Uh, Dolphins are the worst at scoring points. Cowboys are the best. Chiefs. Yeah, we're eighth. 27 and a half, roughly. That's what we average a game. Pretty good in the top 10. Uh, first downs. We're, we're fourth in first downs. That's pretty good. Cowboys way out in front. Jets. Now defense. Jets have the worst defense. Or no, yeah, they have the worst defense. But we're not the worst. We're towards the bottom, but see, we're we've been doing better. So I know my passing defense has been bad this year. Jets are a little worse than the second worst. Chiefs are bad too. Who has the best pass defense? Rams, Bengals. That one I totally believe. The Seahawks have a mean defense. I could not touch it. There's the Packers. Yeah, I believe it. Packers were good too. Yeah, look at the Packers. They were the number four defense. I believe it. They shut me down. And there's the Seahawks. Yeah. 
Very believable. See, they've, they've gotten better with the gameplay. They have. And it's like, who's the worst? I can't remember how many points I scored on the Jets. I might have moved the ball on them. Um, you know, the Bills, the first half, their defense looked terrible. Second half, they made adjustments. Um, the Eagles, I, I mentioned, were really bad. They are bad. Yeah, actually, yeah, they see the Redskins defense. Yeah, not so good. Uh, okay, run defense. Bucks have the best. We're seventh, so we're we're good against the run. And who's the worst? Eagles. Yeah, I remember running all over these guys. Yeah, believe it. Yeah, this is the only thing that's crazy is points allowed, but you gotta factor in those turnovers and the EA nonsense, you know. Because there was times I got mad and reckless, and that's when you really allow points on all Madden. But if I just play smart, this would be a lot better. That's why I look at more like defensive yards allowed, you know. That sums up the how good your defense really is. So we're third in sacks, 32. Uh, Ravens way in front. And I believe that. I have a pretty good uh, pass rush. Chargers killing and fumble recoveries. Yeah, I only have three. I'm like middle of the pack. I have eight picks. Wow. Redskins have 19. They're killing it, dude. Looks like I'll be middle of the pack as well. Yeah, and I believe that. Cool. Yeah, so, I mean, like, the stats are very believable for me, you know? That's why I'm actually enjoying this year's Mad more than all the others. At least, as long as, you know, they don't come out with an update that just, like, ruins it. I felt that one moment it was like that, but... Maybe I was wrong, because that was when I played the Jets and Mayfield had his way with me and destroyed me. Well, apparently they have the best offense, so, you know, I guess that's aren't that bad. They have Joe Judge as their their head coach. <laughs> F him. <laughs> I, I'm a young coach. I already passed him. <laughs> Joe Judge like, well, technically, same amount of time as a head coach, which is true. So. Anyways. I'm trying to think what to do. If I should keep playing, or uh, you guys want me to sim? Yeah, I don't know. First franchise update is next month. Is it okay? I'm trying to think what to do. You guys are saying uh, are saying sim. I would love to get revenge on the cowgirls, but man, their offense is too ridiculous. And they're nine and two. They're gonna blow me up again. Their offense is dumb. They'll probably score forty on me. Six. <laughs> That's one team in my division I can't figure out. The Eagles, now they're not that good anymore, so I can beat them up. And the Redskins are they were good last year with their defense, but not so much this year. Sim Cowboys, if you win, then play. Yeah, be the Patriots next. All right, I'll sim this one. So here we go. See what happens. See what happens. I'm sure I'm going to lose. And you know what? That's pretty realistic. I think they would blow me out. 35-14, I'm totally in belief on that. Yeah, I believe it. Do you think I should just keep going now since I lost? It's like I knew I was going to lose that one. My coach has a lot of XP. 
I'll just wait until off season. Eight New England Patriots. All right, well here we go. They're they're not a very good team, Patriots. Be cool to face them, but it doesn't look like they're that good of a team. I bet we'll win this one. We'll probably yeah, we we blew them up, so yeah, Patriots probably. And I could see that in real life. Probably like in the year 2023, Patriots probably won't be that good anymore. They'll start declining. Wouldn't doubt that. I think their time has come. Cardinals would be a fun team to face with Tyler Murray and Hopkins if they still have them. They probably do. They still have them. Their record five and eight. Well, they're not doing it this year. We'll see. This is, I think, more of place your bets. I can see this being a shootout. Oh, oops. That. happens well it was a shootout but not in my favor hey i'll be right back guys i'll be right back All right, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Hey, Zachary, what's up, buddy? No, why are you simming? Yes, yeah, sorry. Only because it looks like we're out of the playoffs officially, so. But hey, I got to look at stats to see, like, because we can kind of assume the what my overall stats would have looked like if I played every game, you know? So, stats looked pretty real. I'm just tired of Kirk Quiff Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> he licks my testicles, man. But you guys voted Sim. So, that's okay.
Bum, 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 bum. We're almost to the fun part, though. I'll tell you, we are getting really good as a team. I, I almost feel like we're like the Cowboys. We have a pretty talented team, but... Well, they have a QB, though. I don't. That's the difference. <laughs> they don't have a defense. Oh, yeah, Dolphins are 4 and 10. <laughs> Dang. Uh, be nice. That's okay. Like, I'm all about playing the games, but I was like, you know what? I played most of the season. That's all right. I'm out of the playoffs. My QB sucks. Uh, I'm six and nine. So, um, I'm I'm probably gonna beat the Eagles. So we'll see. We're either gonna be six and ten or seven and nine. I wouldn't mind if the Eagles win this one. Uh, Cowboys. I mean, they won the division long ago, and I can't I can't beat them. They're too good still. In fact, uh, they've been to the Super Bowl every year, I think, to this point, right? I need to, like, look at my old streams. I've been meaning to write that down. I think so. I think they won the last one. So. Cowboy's been really good so far, huh? <clears throat> Last week, we go, man. Are we going to start the online franchise today? Well, we still need two more people, so two more. That is it. Two more. I need to post a community thing. All right, here we go, guys. Last week. And we'll look at stats. Oh, Eagles beat me. Hey, that helps our uh, our draft. We're 6-10. and 10. Brutal loss. Yeah, I mean, I think I would have beaten them. I guess you never know. Division rivals. You know. Let me upgrade. Don't be a jerk. Thank you. It didn't freeze. All right, so Thomas is an 83. Very nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, Dirty Fingers hasn't had one in forever. An 82 now. He's been inching it, inching it, inching, can't talk, inching his way. There's, there's one of my favorite draft pick. Bobo Cumballs. Bobo. That Bobo cum balls. Maybe. Is he a normal or star? Normal? Darn. There's La Homo Legay. Been a great backup. Still 77. It's alright. La Homo Legay. You know, Baker, I don't care. We'll auto that. Because you're not going to stay with the team. He's like, I got three interceptions, Joey. Oh, Ryan Rice. Young kicker. Accuracy, cool. Oh, there you go. You're a star, Ryan, if you're watching. Here's this other rookie we drafted. Joe Evans, our backup center. It'd be cool if this guy can be a future. 71. Here's this young tackle. I don't know if this guy's ever gonna like blossom into anything, but young. Still 73. He's been getting hurt a lot too. Yeah, I think he's pretty much a fill in. Got a bunch of doo doo here. A couple of them have two. Oh, there's Gallup. There you go. Big list here. Gallup's a technically a 93, plus two morale. 
Gallup been a great draft, or excuse me, free agent sign. Darius Slayton, about to get better too. I didn't realize uh, he was an 88. Or is that including morale boost? No, he's, he's an 88. No morale boost. He's an 89 now. Yeah, we just uh, recently re-signed him. I think like four or more years. Uh, McKinney. Now, McKinney's a, a guy that... I don't know. I think he's just been okay as, as a safety. Been alright. He's still 26 years old. That's the good thing. Sorry, there's Rosie. Rosie O'Donnell's a 75. Did you see Prescott's injury? I did, yeah. That was a bad one. Oh, there you are, uh, Brett. You're still here. Uh, let's go pass rusher. So you're 76. Cool. Nice. What's your... You're a star. Nice. Star, baby. Oh, wait, you have another one. Oh, I didn't realize you had two of them. Okay, nice. Uh, well, you're going to be a 77 probably. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Go. I didn't realize you had two. Okay, then the rest. That was a long list. Now, let's see what the stats look like. Cowboys 14 and 2. I'm assuming they had the best record. So I want to know my draft order. So Raiders are the number one pick. Not really a team that was really bad. I mean, 4 and 12, you know, it's not that terrible for the worst team. So let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're the number six overall pick. Super glad the Eagles beat us because there's a lot of 6 and 10s and 7 and 9s. So thanks, Eagles. Thank you, Eagle Boo Eagles. Yeah, Cowboys, best team, Ravens, Packers. I believe it. Packers are good. Oh, wow, the Redskins made a comeback. Oh, they started winning towards the end. Cowboys probably had the number one offense. Oh, yeah. Yep. I almost allowed 500 points. Part of it's Kirk Cousins, though. Here we go. I always enjoy looking at this. So the offense was ranked 6. Defense 30th. Yeah, I noticed we were allowing points towards the end. Points scored 10. And we were last. Points allowed. Yeah, it's like defense fell apart towards the end after getting hot. So Kirk Cousins looks like he threw a lot more picks. So it's it wasn't just me. See, he's just bad. <laughs> he was on pace. He kept the pace up. With those uh those games we simmed but anyways 4200 yards 31 touchdowns 24 picks not very good 61 percent accuracy yeah we need a qb bad um barkley doing his thing 15 touchdowns yeah he, he held on to his pace yep barkley being barkley There you go, there's Gallup. Over 1,200 yards, 77 catches, 13 touchdowns. Pretty nice. Yeah, Ingram looks like he was really heating up. I mean, Ingram is like a mid-90. Uh, Cliff Cousins, baby, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, he's lucky he has these kind of weapons. It, you know, that kind of sucks, though, for Darius Slayton. He didn't get shit for stats, man. This was definitely a down year for the poor guy. We need a, a QB that can launch him for him, man. But, you know, Isabella did a good job, you know, for just being a low-key guy. Really being our number five receiver. Because here's our four right here. And probably even number six, because I looked at Barkley more than Isabella, so. 
No receiving touchdown for Barkley, though. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good for Ingram because he missed several games. He was trying to get that thousand. That really sucks for Darius, though. Yeah, freaking Vanderesh, man. 167 tackles. The beast. Yeah, I mean, for once, usually it's my linebackers. My secondary had the tackles. Sometimes when you have a bad pass defense, it happens. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Baker. Oh, whatever. Oh, Burnsy. Nine sacks. Howard has seven. Robert, oh, he didn't get any more. Five and a half. So, Brett, if you're still here, this is what you did your rookie year. Uh, four sacks. I mean, that's, you know, it's respectable. I mean, rookie year. Four is not bad. Nick Jordan. What the heck, dude? <laughs> you did miss some time, but that's still not very good stats. Hopefully, I'll have a comeback. Probably not too many forced fumbles, right? Four. Oh, Ryan Rice had a good rookie year. 20 for 22. All right, league leaders. This is always fun. Damn, I sucked. I'm going to get cut. <laughs> I won't cut you. <laughs> You're like, oh, you're fucking cut. You're like, I'm going to join Kurt Quiff Cousins. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Matt Ryan, 5,000 yards. He hit the big 5K. Excuses, Nick. LOL. Uh, yeah, there's, there's Baker Lamefield. Well, I can understand why he destroyed me. He actually did have a big year. Whatever. Wow, look at this rookie. Ryan Allen. Wasn't that the guy the guy you guys wanted me to draft? Actually, I, I wanted to draft him, but there was no chance. Boy, he had a monster rookie year. Can I look at his player card from here? I can. He's an 83 superstar. Dang, dude. I want him. Fuck Kirk Cousins. Wow. Well, Titans, they drafted a great QB. Dang, dude. And 41 touchdowns his rookie year. I wonder if he led that. He did. That's something special right there. Your rookie QB gets over 4,700 yards. 41 touchdowns and only 11 picks. Holy Jesus, dude. Now, he probably threw them. 600 attempts, that's a lot. Yeah, he did. I mean, shoot. That's smart for the, the Titans. They're like, get this guy better, man. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to look at my QB. Fuck mine. I wonder if Barkley ran the most. Yeah, by a little bit. I mean, Elliot likes to run, too. Can't blame me, though. Of course, I'm going to run a lot with Barkley. But Elliot just killing it, man. Second. He had 18 touchdowns. He probably led that. No. Second. Oh. What's your overall? I think you're uh, 88, 89, maybe? I lost track. Any hundred? Oh, three of them. A couple of tight ends up there. Kelsey. Is uh, Hill still a thief? Yep. So far. Yeah, Tyreek Hill led the yards. Oh, Gallup was second. 
Oh, there's that stud I could have drafted. Yeah, this guy's going to be a monster. You know, he's having a really good year in real life. He didn't miss a couple of games, you know. All the games he's played, he's been beasting it up. Yeah. Let touchdown, 16. Gallup tied for a second. That Van Der Esch led tackles. Yeah, boost. I would love Devin Bush. He's really fast. Wouldn't mind having him. Donald, 16 half sacks. JJ Watt. Our number one guy had nine. So. Seven interceptions. That's pretty good. That's cool. So those are the stats. Yeah, that's so the real surprise. I mean, yeah, Matt Ryan with his 5K passing yards, but the rookie, 4,700 yards and 41 touchdowns. Holy crap, dude. Almost wonder if he deserves a special name, you know? All right. I don't care about pro ball. Cowboys made it to the Super Bowl again. I, I'm gonna say Ravens are gonna win. Cowboys. Why they keep smoking me? Nice to have competition in your division like that. I think there's too much more out. All right, who do you think's gonna win? Do yearly awards. So here we go. Uh, Mahomes MVP. That rookie almost had it. Can you imagine if the rookie got it? I think that guy may be the best player out of the draft, huh? Ryan Allen. NFC, we'll see what we got. So, Offensive Player of the Year. Barkley was fifth. Look at all the Cowboys. Their offense is ridiculous. Barkley's fifth, though. I have one guy. Defensive player of the year. Uh, am I going to get any? I didn't get any. Darn. Okay, offensive rookie of the year. Oh. Well, I know uh, on the AFC, it's going to be that QB. <laughs> There's day. Uh, defensive rookie. Uh, all right, Brett, you are seventh. Here you are. Cool. Best QB. Well, yeah, be Matt Ryan. Uh, you won't see me on this list. What? Quiff Cousins made tenth. Now, technically, that's not very good because this is just NFC. But he made it, huh? Freaking quiffed cousins. <laughs> Running back. Yeah, second. Yeah. Receiver. Oh, there you go. We have the best wide receiver. Oh, EDF Gallup. Best old line. From Cowboys. Packers. Not me. Best defensive line. Did any of my guys make it? 
Oh. Tough competition, though. Best linebacker. Uh, I would think one of my guys would make it. Really? Really? See, if Howard and Robert didn't get hurt, I think one of you guys would have made it at least. Um, see, Van Der Eresh, even though he, he killed in tackles, he didn't really do anything else. So, tackles doesn't count for a lot in this. Best D back. I doubt I'm on that list. Nope. I knew that. <laughs> hey, there you go. My rookie kicker, fourth. There you go, Ryan. Boom, baby. Yeah, Quiffer at 10. <laughs> all right, here you go. See who wins the Super Bowl. I really need to write all this down. I really do. Oh, good. The Ravens won. Good. Ah. Cowboys are always there, man. Okay, now, do I want to resign him for a year? He's still really good. 34 years old. He wants 12 mil. I mean, for what he is, that's not a lot of money. So. Pretty good, so... I'm just wondering if I should take a gamble and find something sweet in free agency. Because you never know if it's going to be good or not. Um, I'll have 33 and a half mil. After I sign him. Oh, hold on. The penny I'm letting go. You're gone. I think I pretty much signed who I want. Oh, McKinney. Okay, this is a decision. Oh, I should get Kirk Cousins. He's a 63 now. There you go. There you go. Now, Tomlinson, I said I wasn't going to resign. I'm going to let him move on. Uh, he doesn't really do too much, you know. He's an okay player. Uh, BJ Hill, I'm going to let him go because he'll be kind of an expensive backup. Uh, Shepard's gone. See, that helps free up money. We, didn't, we don't need Shepard anymore. Uh... Okay, so really, McKinney, do I really want him back? How much money do you want? Uh, I mean, not, not terrible. You know, that's reasonable. It's just he hasn't done a lot. The most that he's done for me is that one year when I decided to make him a cornerback. And shockingly, I thought he did better as a corner than as a safety. The reason why I say that is because he only has 87 speed. Actually, speed... Uh, improved i think it was like 85 or 86 once upon a time yeah but he hasn't been getting a lot better but he's still young his zone coverage is okay man coverage is not bad it's actually pretty good 88 yeah i never know what to think of him Do I resign him? What do you guys think? Or do I take a gamble you know, and test the market? I mean, my secondary is already bad. Really can't afford to make it worse, I guess. Up his bonus slightly. I mean, he'll probably take that. A little over six million a year. That's not terrible. For four years. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Probably should go three years, but I'll go. I would like to play for a new team. I like to play for your mama. Excuse me? Yeah. The franchise tag for him would be 14 mil. I'll tell you what, I'm going to test the market. Um, I'm actually going to test the market. He just hasn't done much for me, you know? Now, peppers I keep, you know. I like peppers. 
I'm going to go ahead and re-sign him. Keep the old line good. Unless I want to test the market. He should take that. I mean, it's only a one year. I enjoyed playing for you, but oh. Uh, but you know, the franchise tag be basically the same amount. A little more. Here, we're going to let him walk. I'm going to test the market, so I'm letting these guys go. I have some money to play with. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, some of these uh, off-seasons, pretty strong free agency. So, I'm going to take a gamble. I lost a couple of good players, for sure. Uh, definitely a lot on the D-line, so my backups won't be near as good, but freed up some money. Alright, let's see. So, I have 45 mil. And look at that, there's Smith. He's really good. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I should sign Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I don't want to pay him that. I, I I understand that, but I'm not I'm not doing that. <laughs> not spending my money like that. Freaking Rosen. Right. Oh, there's a uh, Kareem Hunt. This guy gets no respect, man. There's always decent running backs available. Left over. Running backs are never an issue. I'm just thinking about a good backup, you know. Receivers. Decent ones. I don't need that though. Tight ends. Darwin's not bad, but. So I'm thinking about Smith. 81. Nothing there. A bunch of doo doo. It's a really good center. Still has some years. I'm only 28 years old. Of course, there's a lot of teams interested in him. Yeah, so I'm glad it was worth the gamble. There's some good old linemen here. Might be able to get one. Yeah, excuse me. I don't really need linebackers, but I can always make one of them a defensive end. It's always just good to see. All right. Cornerbacks is something I'd like, but there isn't one. There isn't one. So the Cowboys are interested in him. Carl Tom is still kicking. So I'm going to try to reclaim any. So far, it's only the Cowboys. Uh... So like you guys mentioned, I think I'm only going to give him two years. I'm going to go four, four and a half. So I'm going to have to give him more money. That's a little disgusting, you know, where I could have gotten him cheaper. But that's eight mil. I mean, no big deal. I have still a lot of money there. He may take that for the two years. Short term. See where that puts me. Definitely out in front. Um, I want to look at my team right now. Because I want to know, what does my old line look like currently? Let's look at this. <clears throat> so, I'm in good sh Oh, hold on. I wish I would stop doing that. I'm in good shape. There's my QB. We're looking pretty good. Alright. So obviously, receiving core is still good. 
No issues there. Okay, Ingram's a 93. So yeah, I mean, I could use a tackle. I don't think he's it. Hernandez is an 86. There's old Bobo Cumballs. If he, if he would stop getting hurt, he probably would have been a lot better. Because when he plays, he's pretty good. So, I mean, I could use some pieces, you know. Uh, so, really, I could use a tackle and a guard. Uh, as far as my defensive line, because I lost some pieces. Uh, Lahoma Legay is still a backup. There's Brett. He's the starter. You know, of course, Burns, starter, our lead sack guy. And we still have these two as our tackles. So that's still good. We'll just find some backups. Um, so, Howard, I know you've been asking. You are an 89. Yeah, Baker did get better. He's an 81. I think he's an 80, because that green arrow's a morale boost. But I still need, I mean, I need cornerbacks. That's not as good as it looks. Really not. I need a safety now. See if we can get McKinney back. Worst case scenario, Love is our starting safety. As a free safety, probably. Keith Peppers as a strong safety. Okay, I just wanted to know what my team looks like. Okay. Definitely have money to toy with. So, as far as O-line goes, I could maybe grab two of them. Could go after Smith. There's a really good center. And I can always make him a guard. That's another thing. We had him. Hey, go after Smith. It's 33. Of course, he wants big money. If I give him a solid, like, 8 and 8, right? Do it like that. That's a lot of money I'm offering him right there. I probably don't have to go that high. He wants two years. I don't think I could do two years because he's 33. We're going to do a year at a time. So technically he's a 91. He's got plus two morale boost. I like how they show that. Uh, one thing I like about Smith, he should be really strong. Yeah, 94. Yeah, those are those are pretty good attributes. 90s all around. Oh, that actually reset. Do you see that? Piece of shit. can't believe it did that. Okay. I think I can get him for that. Let, let's see. No, I'm 11th. Oh, you motherfucker. Play that game with me. Let me spend my uh, coach XP points. I have a bunch. This is why I save them. So, O-line influence. I already have that maxed. I'll do that with D-backs. Uh, quarterback, not yet. Yeah, this is something I'll have to think about in the future, the re-signing. I haven't even touched that. I always like looking at this. It's always good for the rookies. I guess defensive back training is always good. For XP. Same with the old line. Still have a lot of XP. I'm going to just spend that. That's good for now. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to save the rest. So if I draft a good QB or something, that's where I'll put it towards. I just want to know what I get first. <clears throat> but the resign too. That's something I need to think about.
I need to give Smith more money. Greedy fuck. I mean, I could give him two years. Should I give him the two years? What if I give him a solid eight salary, eight bonus, 16 a year for, for the two years? He must, maybe he really is anal in the two years. He actually is, and now I'm winning going by that, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of bids. Ten bids on him. He only has three. Huh, <laughs> loser. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, he's at least in his 20s still. See, that would be nice. Uh, I'd be broke, though, if I get him. Tough decision. You know he's a 91. He doesn't look nearly as good as uh, Smith, you know. Still really good. He's younger. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm going to go in advance a week. I don't want to be too broke. See what happens first. He'll probably be gone, though. He'll probably get signed. A lot of bids. So I did get McKinney. Smith told me to go fuck myself. Man, you greedy-ass prick. He's like, Joe, I don't want to be on your team because you suck dick. Whatever, screw you. He'll play for uh, the Dolphins or whatever. So I got him back. Paid him more than I wanted. Let's go back here. Still have 37 mil. And the old linemen are gone. Son of a bitch. He's available. He's not a bad player. Could get him. Might be able to get him cheap. No bids on him. That sucks. So the old line will be a little weaker. Or a lot weaker if I don't get this guy. I think I'll get him. He wants 10 mil. See, I don't like that he's a normal. That's why people aren't interested in him. So what you see is pretty much what you get. But he's a lot better in my current tackle. I do like his strength. So he's strong. I like that. Looks like he's a run blocker. That's pretty good for Barkley. Uh, okay. I don't. I I know old line gets kind of expensive. I'll give him two years. I'm I'm cutting his money a bit because I think I can get him for cheaper. The ten and a half million for two years. Per season. I think I can get him for that. I don't really like that. He's more of a fill-in just so the old line doesn't suffer too much. I think that's all I'm going to get, to be honest with you. I, I'm not really interested in anything else. Would have been nice to get one of those really good old linemen, though. Now, see, if I was doing trades, this wouldn't matter. And it takes the fun away. That's why I'm so against trades. <clears throat> Hopefully I get him. Even though I don't like giving him 10.5 mil. Of course he accepted. I'm the only sucker to give him that. He's like, thanks, sucker. If your option or who? Oh, Howard. Well, duh. Yes, we're keeping Howard. <laughs> In that case, do you want to go ahead and pick up his fifth year? You know what? No, Howard, you're not that good. I'm going to let you go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, you're one of my best players. Of course you're staying. You're not going nowhere.
<laughs> Howard's like, you'll regret that, coach. I will. Would. You and Robert going nowhere. Now, Nick, I don't know. He may go. I was kidding, Nick. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> That's a joke. <clears throat> oh, uh, who who did that? Someone already played their game 13 times, really? All right, uh, I'll find out who that was, and then um, it was Ryan. Ryan, if you're watching, come on, dude. Don't do that. Uh, what, for one, I said don't play the AI, and two, if you do, okay, whatever, but really, the big one, don't do that 13 times. That's cheating, dude. That's cheating. Don't do that. Whoa. That safety looks pretty good. Already. Almost to the draft. All right, here we go. Um, ready, guys? Like one of the best parts. Our draft. Oh my god, I accidentally simmed it. I'm just kidding. The Raiders. Are now Imagine if I accidentally did, and I was like, no! <laughs> All right. Now, I'm the number six overall pick. It probably has to be one of those QBs. Oh, see what happens. Watch, they both get drafted in front of me. The Dolphins are now. So that's not a good first round pick. 70 overall guard. No thanks for me. Let's see what the Dolphins get. The Patriots are now on the Ooh, Hopefully it's not a weak draft. Hopefully it was just bad picks. A 72 overall middle linebacker. Ooh. First two picks, not good at all. Huh. You know, was there people in the background in Madden 20? The Saints are now They at the least clock. improved that. I remember. So far, this draft's freaking me out. These, these picks aren't very good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not the case. I don't think so. I think these are just uh, terrible picks. I'm glad the QBs are still there. The Vikings are now 73 on the end. So we're the next pick, man. The Giants are now 69 on the top. overall. Man, I'm a little nervous about this. That is terrible top five picks. Doubted. All right. So which QB do I want? Early first rounder. And um, this guy's a scrambler. Do I want to go scrambler? 21 years old. See, that's always important to me. Here's the other QB. He's got A plus throw power. He's 22 years old. Uh, his short pass B plus. So his accuracy is probably an issue. What do you guys think? And then here's another QB. 
Okay, so there's actually three of them, but, but, I'm thinking the Scrambler. Can I be the QB? Sure. Are you, I think this guy, I'm, I'm thinking going Scrambler. I think this guy is a little better too than the other two. He's a year younger. I mean, I, I'm tired of having like a 60 overall QB. So here we go. The Falcons are now on the. I reached, but a 72 overall hidden. That's good. Hey, you know what? The overall may not be impressive. I'm glad it said reach because that means there are much better players than this. So his throw power 89. I mean, that's like way better than Cousins, even though it's that's average in my opinion. Um, the bill. His deep accuracy is, is way better than Cousins. Medium, not good. Short's okay. Okay. Um, what's his run? 87 speed, 91 acceleration. I'm gonna try to run a lot. I am gonna try to scramble. I'm glad he has great injury and great stamina because that's gonna be important. Um, so okay. The Rams are now on the. Oh, you know what? There's that cornerback. See, I could have gotten that. An 80 overall corner. I knew that corner was good, but I was like, I have to get a QB because they're all going to be gone. I did that last time when there was like two of them. They were gone when I waited till the second round. The Eagles. I bet that corner is like the best one too out of the draft. An 80 overall. Wow. The Texans are I'm now just on curious. The, the Seahawks are now on the clock. That corner would have been beautiful. The Cardinals are I knew now on the there clock. was a good receiver. I guess that was him. 77. Yeah, those top five picks were terrible. The Broncos are now on the clock. Those GMs should be fired. <laughs> the Buccaneers are now on the clock. The Steelers wow, look at these picks, the huh? Clock. We know there's much better than that. The Bengals are now on Thank the clock. God. Terrible picks. The Chargers are now on the clock. The Jets are now on the clock. a good safety. I wonder if that was the guy I was looking at. Maybe, 75. The 49ers are now on the clock. The Jaguars are now on the clock. The Titans are Probably now the, on the worst clock. first round that I've ever witnessed, but that cornerback was a beast. This could be good, though. We may get a really good player in the second the round. I, I think it's the just clock. these teams' terrible picks. The Panthers. Are There's that other the QB. So he was the same ability. So I think it was more of a preference. You want a pocket passer or a scrambler. So this guy's probably going to have better accuracy, a better arm, but which that is more what I'm about. But I'll, I'll take a scrambler. He may not be hidden, though. That's the difference. The Lions. But yeah, the Packers the found a replacement for Rodgers. That's a really good center. Oh yeah, I did mention there was a good center when I scouted. That's probably him. I can never remember names. See, there's good players in here. The Colts are now on the clock. The Browns are now. Yeah, on that the cornerback, clock. man. I could have grabbed him. The Bears. Are Corners are hard to come by, man. Eighty overall. That's a beast. The Chiefs are now on the clock. The Cowboys are now on the clock. Are you going to get cowgirls? The Ravens Receiver? Are that now looks on the nuts. Clock. <laughs> the Raiders are now on the clock. Right, it's almost us. I just want to see what the first round looked like. The Dolphins are now on the clock. The Patriots. Look at that running back. I mean, that's something I don't need. Look, an 80 overall running back in the second round. Ooh. Dolphins got a beast. The Saints. Another running now back. He's not bad. The Vikings are now on Almost the clock. Almost our pick. I think there's still good players the in Giants here. The Giants are now on the clock. All right, here we go. I feel very confident here. Let's see what's available. But yeah, see the QBs are gone. Here's another safety right here. And he looks pretty good. Um, I love the hit power. 
Pursuit's not bad. Zone coverage. I may be, may be interested in this guy. Um, looking. I gotta be quick about this. Here's an old lineman. He's got a really high grade. He looks like a beast. Oh, shit. Uh, and he's strong, too. I like that. Wow, this guy looks really good. He's got the best moves, and he's the second strongest. This guy actually is way more promising. 21 years old, too. Oh, man. This tight end's probably good, too. That'd be a great secondary tight end, but... No lineman would be more. Oh, that other QB still here. I don't want him though. I already got one. But I guess I could have waited till the second round. Could have got that corner, but you know you, you can't trust it. Um, I think this. Uh, I think this tackle's a beast. I, I think. I think I have to grab the tackle. It's him or the safety, but I, I think this guy's a beast. He better be. He looks good. The Falcons are now on the. So it's a good pick, a 70 overall normal. Really, I, he looked better than that. He's gonna start. Not, I don't like that. That was a good pick. Wow, that's a, the safety has to be a little better. All right, dude. The Bills are now on the clock. I may move him over to guard. Let's go to my next user pick. All right. The Giants are now on the clock. Huh. Got going on here. Evers, I don't need a receiver. Pass rusher. He looks okay. Definitely receivers. I forgot who I was going to go after. Oh, this uh, defensive end. He probably looks to be the best. I can always use another D lineman. The Falcons are now. It's a good pick. He's a 72 overall. He looked to be more of the safe pick. I think he's going to be a backup, though. I probably shouldn't have drafted him because I didn't really need that. The Bills are now on the clock. I should have took a chance with a corner. Man, I wish I got that the 80 Giants overall corner, man. That would have been so beast. But hey, we got a QB. I can't complain. Still receivers. That won't be... Safety right here. I don't think he's going to be that great. I just like his hit power. Alright, look at the backs. Corners look awful. And maybe this safety. Take a chance, right? Oh, strong safety. Gone, dude. Let's take my chance with him. I don't know. He's probably a high 60. Yeah. The Falcons are now I thought so, too. Not a good pick. That was just desperation for a D back. Yep. 
Your the QB Giants is another Gabriel from Madden 17. <laughs> Maybe I should name him that. Gabriel? Did I name him that? I don't even know what I want. Oops. Doubted. Doubted this guy. So, maybe some D-linemen. I, I may just grab this corner. You know he's not going to be good. Maybe a decent backup. It was a good pick, so that tells you there's really nothing left. Oh well, back up. If if they didn't uh if EA didn't block the name Dick, then I would just name that guy Dick Sucker. Yeah, I don't know how to rank my draft. The Giants are now This draft is really good if my QB blossoms. That's really that's really what it comes down to. That guard's still there. I guess I can grab him. Backup, probably. The Falcons are now Good on pick. the clock. Don't like your attributes. You're a wuss too. <laughs> Whatever. What do you expect? Six round. You know what's weird? This draft was. Uh, it seems like overall weaker. The Giants. But there was a couple eighties. So, I mean, I don't need a kicker, punter, fullback, so I don't know what to draft. From. Seventh round pick. Could always get another QB, I guess. I sure. Whatever. You know he's gonna suck. The Falcons are now on the clock. Whatever. All right, we're done. I really, I actually, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I think I'd rather have that 80 overall corner though. Yeah, he's normal. Draft three cap. So like this tackle could be good. I like his attributes. It just sucks that he's a normal and he is a 70 overall, but I like that he's strong. Looks like he's a pass protector. Nothing wrong with that. Personality is intense. But yeah, I may move him over to guard. I don't know. What's his size? Six five three. Yeah. Hard. Because he may get a couple points better. That's why I'm thinking that. And this guy is at least a good backup. I mean, really, this is our. This is really all we care about right here. Is this Michael Richardson? We're gonna change his name. Because Gabriel was a scrambler. Yeah, Zachary. Unfortunately, I'll have to save you for next time. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna name this guy Gabriel. Right? What do you think, Gabriel or marijuana Majetti? <laughs> now, I'll probably go uh, Gabriel. What was his first name, Gabriel? 
I remember. He looks like Gabriel from Madden 17. Hopefully they don't block this, Gabriel. How about Gaten? Gaten, okay. Gaten. Whatever, EA. That's a real name. Never heard of Gaten. No, it's just like dick. Fuck them. Extra gay, extra gay, bro. <laughs> extra gay, bro. Watch, EA goes right. No, no, no. We know what you're up to. Extra is inappropriate. Extra gay, bro. <laughs> is that really gonna be his name? Eight hey, extra gay, bro. <laughs> Extra Gabriel the third. That's what it should be. <laughs> Extra Gabriel Jr. This is Gabriel's son. There you go. That that's good. Oh, can I not fit anymore? Face. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, what? No, I could. I should be able to fit more letters, right? Maybe it was just a glitch. I thought Gabriel Jr. or Gabriel the third. Gabriel Jr. You think that's better? This is like Gabriel's son, extra Gabriel Jr. <laughs> Extra Gabriel. Cool. Here you go. Extra Gabriel Jr. Hopefully he'll be the guy. See, these guys are normal, so they don't really deserve a name, you know? Let's look at... Over, you know, the overall. Yeah, how strong this draft was. There was a lot of uh, bad picks. But we saw a couple 80s. Two of them. That's, that's a lot, you know. But it looks like overall this draft wasn't as strong. Maybe that's how they weigh it. Like, one draft, it's overall weaker, but there's a couple of badasses, you know. This cornerback, man... I, I, I tell you, when I scouted him, I was like, oh, he's definitely good. Boy, he sure is. And he's hidden. Oh, 21 years old. 6'3", 180. He's got a good size. Tall. Slim. He's fast. His own coverage isn't good, but sometimes you're all about man coverage, which it's okay. You know, rookie. Not bad. But he's super quick. What's his catch? Now, if he had great hands, then I'd say, oh, I wish I got this guy. But he's gonna be he's gonna be a player. Now how about the running back? He's a normal, so that cornerback was definitely the best. But this is a pretty dang good looking running back. Got pretty good speed. Do you think these guys deserve like a because we could always change their names i wonder if the game will allow me even though they're not on my team i guess i can I, i'm gonna call this guy ricky williams 
Why not? Right? I should I should start doing that on the top draft picks. Give them a name and then we see how the top picks do. So I'm gonna name this guy Ricky Williams. I mean the Dolphins got him. Makes sense. He kind of looks like Ricky Williams a little bit. Maybe not as muscular. Not as strong, but he's got the right speed. Some of his attributes are correct. Ricky Williams. Go. Now, how about that cornerback? Ricky Dicky. Oh, did it reset? Happen. Excuse me. Though. Ricky Williams. This guy should get a special name. Uh. Oh. Who would you say this guy would be? Name him Dicklicious. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, huh. I couldn't call him Deion Sanders. If his hands were better, I would. But it's like a 64. He's not. He's not 99 speed either. Uh. Six three. A good name for him. What do you think this guy resembles? And he's on the Bills. Bills really have good corners, by the way, because they probably still have white. I got some sick corners. If I didn't create Dirty Fingers, I would call this guy Dirty Fingers, but. <laughs> Her quiffer. I'm trying to think of a name for him. But, but, no, nah, that sounds like an old lineman name. Donkey Banger? <laughs> no, nah, not Donkey Banger. That's probably a good name for a center. Kind of dirty fingers. <laughs> dirty. Uh, we can't have two dirty fingers. Um... And I don't think this guy would be Dick Breath Jr. Another one. Uh, can't even think of uh, really good cornerbacks. I should probably name him like Ronald McDonald or something. <laughs> Just because I'm not clever, I can call him McDonald, I guess. I don't know. Ronald McDonald. That sounds kind of lame, I know. I can't think. You know it'd be a you know it'd be a mean name. Call him Baby Beater. 
That wouldn't be a name for a corner, though. <laughs> Baby beater. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll call him, I'll call him Ronald McDonald. Oh, well, oops. Hold on. Ronald. Ray Pew. <laughs> There you go. Ronald McDonald. I don't know. That's kind of lame. So we got Ricky Williams, Ronald McDonald. You know what he kind of looks like to me? Maybe uh, Chris McAllister. You know, that's a good name, actually. I'll, I'll stick with Ronald McDonald. Chris McAllister wouldn't be bad. They used to play for uh, the Ravens. Make his hair an orange afro. <laughs> I'll keep it like that. Uh, here's a 77 overall. Oh, this guy has hidden. Oh, man. Chambers. What was that one guy's name? Chris Chambers, right? I should name him Chris Chambers. <laughs> I was like, he's fast, dude. 97 speed. Jesus, dude. Yeah, this is me having fun. This guy definitely deserves a name. I want to... Hold on. I know they, they uh, blocked cum hands, but I'm going to try something. Do it like with two M's. Some hand. How clever is EA? Ah, you're not that clever. Come hands. Oh my god, Patrick come hands, baby. He's back. Patrick motherfucking come hands. Right, EA, dick in your mouth. What do you think of that? Patrick effing come hands. Back. Boom on the Hawks. Boom. Here's a seven. Uh, I'm almost done with this. This guy deserves a name. I I have a name for this guy. I already have a name. Okay. Yeah, I need to start doing this for now on, just for the top picks. Um. Let's call him. Um. Oh, baby beater. <laughs> Is that terrible? Maybe Defagish can be back. I would love Defagish to come back. I feel like EA will not allow that. You know those assholes watch a couple of my streams. They just want to know what the hell I say. You know, and they're probably like, oh, look at these inappropriate names. Block, block. Oh, so he, he uh, he created this legendary Sonny Defagish oh, band. <laughs> I do miss the faggish. That was a legendary name. I need the faggish. <laughs> um, I was thinking about naming this guy just Baby Beater. <laughs> nah, I shouldn't do that. That's that's too foul. I made one guy like Wife Beater before. Here, why if I do this? Because the, the one guy was like, what, Roy Wife Beater? That was a center. Did they block this? I want a Wife Beater. And my D-pad's all screwed up. Nope, they didn't do that. See, Wife Beater's okay. The game designers that make this game, that's probably what they do with their wives. Probably beat their wives. Uh, don't you do that, by the way. So there you go. Roy Wife Beater. He's back. Back in town. Hey, did you see my message? I did. 
So, yeah, I would love Sonny the Faggish to come back, but man, whenever we see a legendary end out of the draft, I'll, I'll try. I think that's it. I think we're good. Those were the top picks. So, but I'm going to start doing that from now on. Patrick come hands, man. Pretty cool. Roy wife beater. Got an advance. And a long stream, huh? I think I'm going to end it right here, but let's see what free agency looks like. What's left over? See, there's always running backs, and that's good. I was actually thinking about signing Acres, too. I'm going to grab him. Pennies. He's back on the market. It's pretty funny. Well, at least I have a lot of money. I don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign Acres. That should be a pretty good backup. And um, look through the list here. I'm going to go ahead and sign him as a backup QB in case I have issues. He was on my team like a couple of years ago. Remember, he started for us a few times because we were so sick and tired of Daniel Jones. He's back on the team. <laughs> uh, Rosen, get away from me. You're like cancer. I'll, I'll sign you. Different. Well, got some good backup running backs. Huh. I like his speed. I always like fast guys. Especially since we have a QB that runs. I mean, we may be all about speed, you know? Oh, Boykin's a free agent again. Feel bad for Boykin. Oh, there's a Willie Sneed at you. I'm thinking about getting him. I'm thinking about getting him. At least he's six foot, 95 speed. I'll get him. Because, like, we have so many receivers already. That'll be fun. There's some decent ones, though. Uh, I don't know if I need a backup tight end. I'll go ahead and grab him, in case. I may sign him for... Are there any other guys? Couple, at least for decent backups. Here, I'll probably look through my team and just sign them later. Yeah, this is at least there's decent players here again for as backups. Oh, David, he still has his X-Factor. Since I didn't get me a cornerback, I should get him. Hayward, he used to be really good. He's just old. Okay. Probably sign all those guys. I should get Earl Thomas. You know, that's a killer backup. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm going to look at my roster, and maybe I'll I'll sign a lot of those guys. I'm going to end it here, guys. I need a breather. But, uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll be back on here in a little bit. So take care, guys.